What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh and Fit Podcast. Today, we got special guest Donovan Sharp. Man, this was going to be lit, guys. Let's get into it, baby. What up, what up, what up, guys? As you guys can see, we got Donovan Sharp in the house, man. This is going to be yes, a lit one, man. A lit one. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> let's go over last night real quick it was because I, I gotta talk about this real fast because so guys donovan got in last night and uh we went out to dinner at uh, one of our favorite places uh moxie's, moxie's for those that are familiar with uh with yeah, miami a good place man yeah very good place yeah it was, it was some of donovan's uh other friends were trying to take him to the opera house which we strictly said <laughs> hell no that place is trash. Not. yeah no that way. place is trash no way you ain't gonna have donovan go to a terrible place like we're that. not gonna listen we're not going to mention Miami J's name on the air. Yeah, right? no, we're no, no, we're not going to mention that secret between us and Miami J. <laughs> we will not, I wasn't even going to say it, but okay. <laughs> Donovan threw him under the bus. Uh, but yeah, no, so they wanted to go there. And we're like, nah, man, let's go to Moxie's. So we go to Moxie's. We get this waitress. She's a cutie. And Donovan immediately starts like making fun of her. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, give me another one of those whiskey, sour whiskeys, would you? Oh, yeah, yeah. the waitress. Yeah. yeah, I remember this. But see, this is the thing, man. That's just the way I am. That's just <laughs> this is just how I interact. The first, like, she walks up, and the first thing I said, and I and I said, like, "What kind of a weird tattoo is that on you?" She's like, "Oh, well, this isn't weird. That's weird." And I'm looking over at her tattoos. Then she touches my arm. Ooh, what kinds of tattoos are these? Yeah, yeah. The old man still got it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because <laughs> she had like a cat, a tattoo of her cat, and she was like, "Oh, it's dead." And he was like, "Oh, that's weird." Yeah. <laughs> She's like, it's, Bro. I was like, what is she like? It's my cat. I was like, oh well, what's well, he's dead. I was like, well, that's weird. Yeah, and I was like, I was oh, like, no, in my no. head, I was like, as soon as he said that, I was like. <laughs> Like, bro, <laughs> moment, bro. Dude, you know what I'm saying? So it was awkward. hilarious. But uh, but she had red hair in there. She had all the things that you guys would typically find in the woman East course, where you know Donovan teaches guys how to identify girls that uh, are not worthy of a relationship. So I know some guys are probably wondering, Donovan, or actually now Donovan, Myron, how did you meet Donovan Sharp? How did you make this happen? Because a lot of people have asked, like, hey man, how did you guys become friends and everything like that? Because obviously we do our show weights yeah. and dates on. Uh, Sundays now. Sundays yeah, right before Sundays the 7th. Yes. Sundays at 6th right before the 7th. And uh, so it started, man. I actually got a consultation with Donovan. And we we're talking about, you know, shooting stuff about fitness, yep. game, everything like that. I was like, hey, man, you're a pretty knowledgeable guy. Uh, would you like to come on the show? And I was like, dude, it'd be an honor. And he had me on and we talked about fitness. We did a show. And then we started doing it pretty much like weekly, bi-weekly, where we would do like uh, fitness shows. And then I'll never forget, Donovan was like, hey, man, you need to make a YouTube channel. You yeah, need, you need to do this. Uh, you can definitely make a pretty good uh, living for yourself doing this stuff. And I was like, in my head, I was like, man, I don't know if I want to leave this school teacher job right? <laughs> and, and do school this. Teacher, listen, you're a school teacher and the moonlight is a florist. Right? Exactly. We don't want to tell them that. And yet. then Chippendales on Sundays. There you go. There you go. But uh, right after the seven. But uh, I was like, man, do I, you know, and and I took it seriously, man. And, we, you know, fast forward about a year later. Yeah. Yeah. And now I got Donovan Sharp in the studio here in Miami, Florida. Uh, at the Panorama Tower, not, not the TSR Towers, but the Panorama Tower. So, yeah. man, it's it's uh, it's an honor, and I just want to say on air, thank you, Donovan, because yeah. you're a big inspiration for why we have the studio right now, why we've went so hard with the quality. Um, and yeah, man, thank you so much. Yeah, listen, um, you know the interesting thing is, is before before we had our consultation, I remember you used to call into my show a lot. Yeah, like, and I remember, and I used to see that I used to see your area code every time. And I think the third or fourth time he called me, I said, okay, this guy is in the field. This guy knows more than a lot of my other callers. That was sort of, that to me was the genesis of, you know, maybe putting a bug in your ear in terms of, you know, starting a show, maybe doing a, you know, maybe doing a podcast and then going to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so I said to myself, okay, and you're the most knowledgeable guy in terms of fitness and nutrition I've ever talked to. Thank you, man. I've had other fitness and nutrition guys on my show. I've had Drew Bay. I've had a, a couple of other guys, but nobody explain. Like you seem to be the most confident. Number one, number two, what you say makes the most sense. And then you came with the graphics and and uh, you know and all and of the facts. Points. Yeah, <laughs> right. And then you understand. You understand women. You understand how women work. And I was like, this guy really, this guy could really start doing things. And so I remember when I started doing shows with you, I said, okay. This dude really, really knows what he's talking about as far as, you know, being fresh and fitness, if I can do a little show plug there. <laughs> and then I remember, um, I remember uh, I was actually talking to my Patreon audience. I did a, uh, I did a Patreon only 
uh, broadcast pr- uh, probably for about a month and a half. And uh, towards the end, I said, guys, I'm going to align myself with someone. And this guy is an, a young and up and coming guy. And a lot of my patrons are like, are you going to align with this guy, this guy, that guy? I said, nope, this is this is going to be Myron Gaines because this is the dude. This is the next dude. Like when I'm dead and buried or if for whatever reason, you know, YouTube, you know, deletes my channel right before I get 100 to get to 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> He's right there, guys, by yeah, the way, almost yeah. at 100,000. No, I, I think I'm 900 and I'm um, 901 subscribers away from 100,000. I never thought this day would come. But um, yeah, I figured with, as soon as I'm, you know, if, if, if I'm gone or they find some way to erase me off the Internet, uh, you're the closest there is to, I guess, um, uh, another me. Yeah, so, man. Yeah. And, and then, guys, you know, it's funny behind the scenes, like you guys are so similar. And just that just goes to show the power of networking. Myron came in yes. added value to Donovan's show. Yes. So Donovan, Donovan said, you know what? This guy has potential. Let me look into him. And then from there, it blew into this. It's very true, it's man. Powerful. It's very true. And we were but yeah, and then me and Fresh met through Solo TV. Yeah. So oh, if I wow. didn't if yeah. I didn't do the seven with you, yeah, I would have never met Solo TV. I would have never met Fresh, and then we wow. wouldn't even have had this. So Guys, this is, I mean, not to plug our Instagram course, which Donovan's <laughs> affiliate code is below. Yeah. But like I always say it, me and Don, me and uh, me and Donovan met and then solo TV. And then through Instagram, I actually had a phone call with Fresh for an hour. And he's like, you're RP aware. I'm RP aware too. Okay. We, we, we deal with bimbos. Yeah, that's awesome. And then we yeah. met up. So, so guys, yeah, man, real that, quick, that's the history. Just a plug here for Donovan. Yeah. He's almost 100K uh, subs, guys. Go ahead and like the video. And Sub to Donovan as well. Ding. Yeah. Donovan Sharp, guys, is the YouTube channel. D O N O V A N S H A R P E E. Okay. If I get a sub on there, you know, send the angry feminist there as well. It'll create more great <laughs> yes, content for Donovan. Thumbs down. Yes. Thumbs down. <laughs> you know, I'll put it in the chat. So, um, Cool. So I guess we'll get right into the into the questioning. But there you go, guys. There's a little background there of how we all met. Um, and yeah, man, I'm just happy to be and here. Real quick. Go um, ahead. Go ahead. As, as far as networking is concerned, what Fresh said was uh, is very, very important. I get a lot of guys who 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 call into my show and they mention their show a oh, whole yeah. lot. Yeah. Right. They do that. And I've never really minded until it started becoming more frequent. Mm-hmm. And then it hit me. They said, you know what? I said, you know what? These guys are trying to do what Myron sort of did. They're trying to do what MLD sort of did. See, the reason why, and shout out to MLD. Shout uh, out to Modern Life Dating. Life Get Dating. salt, guys. It's out. Yeah, salt, yeah, uh, salt 2.0. But MLD, the reason why he got on the Redman group is because he used to call the show and he used to add value to the show. I don't know, minute and a half, two minutes, he would talk about girls game, you know, what is what, you know, what it's like out on the streets. And the more he called in, I remember the last time he called, Rolo's like, you know, we got to get that guy in the show. The rest is history. Well, it's the same <laughs> with you. You used yeah. to call in and tell me about what's going on out here on, uh, on, uh, on these Miami streets. And I said, okay, I got to get this guy on. Well, what the guys are doing now is they're they're trying to they're trying to circumvent having to add value to the show. They think that if they call my show or send in a super chat saying, hey, you know, thanks for giving me the inspiration to start my show. or Hey, people talk about this on my show. OK, that's all well and good, but you got to add value. Like, why do you like you can't you can't just start a podcast and then. And then just call into other people's podcasts or make appearances on other people's podcasts to, just to talk about the fact you have a podcast. We have to sh- you, you have to you have to show that you know what you're talking about. MLD did it. You did it. And that's why you guys are where you are. And Myron always says, thanks for taking a chance on me. I didn't take a chance on anybody. I studied you long and hard before I ever made a decision to align with you. So and I don't I don't just put my name on anybody. I always make sure that I vet them. Now I have made personnel mistakes in the past as you guys have all known sometimes i've aligned myself with the wrong people let's come back to bite me in the in the arse but uh <laughs> thankfully for me you know mld you turned out to be uh you know diamonds in the rough so no, man, thank you that. so much and oh, guys of course that's a Don the Marco. <laughs> I need that sound. I feel left yeah. out because I don't have that sound. As, as you guys can see, uh, Fresh just broke his stream deck. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. It still works. Stream he, he, he just, uh, it, it magnetizes. But, um, but yeah, guys, that's the power of networking right there. Yeah. And we're going to show you that real quick in this ad.
All right, guys. So don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe, and click the affiliate link down below so you guys can support Donovan. You know, if you uh, to get the DMs on demand course, where we go over everything. But let's get right into it, man. So Donovan, can you tell the people about your origin story? What made you take the RP? Oh wow! <laughs> and go through that, man. Well, a lot of guys. Um a lot of guys find the red pill through either heartbreak, sexual frustration, or both. And what a lot of RP origin stories start with was there was this girl or I got divorced or, you know, I had a crazy baby mama or something like that, or my girl cheated on me. One thing leads to another and they decide that they actually want to fix the problem. See, the reason why there are still a lot of clueless guys running around is because they're not really acting like men. Uh, the 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 RP, I guess the 5% lifestyle, that is the answer to the problem that is today's dating market. And so <clears throat> my, my RP origin story was uh, July 1st, uh, 2010, I moved to Vegas, touchdown in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, after a few days, I got a job at a call center. Um, and I'm, I can't mention the name of the call center because it's, it's actually a pretty big call center. Got a job at a call center. I'm immediately one of the top sales guys there. And there was this, you know, ample breasted uh, Mexican girl that was flirting hard with me. And this is before I even knew about any of this stuff. And so me, I'm, you know, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty as hell. You know, I'm like, all right, cool. You know, she's got big, just this chick was a five at best. Like she was, but she had, you know, she had nice tatas, right? So, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we get the flirting and everything. So at the end of, at the end of training, we all graduate. We had the party. We're all like, hey, let's go to the club and celebrate. So we go, we get sloshed at the club. We end up at we end up back at her place. I smashed her on her food. I, no, we actually ended up at her friend's place. I smashed her on her friend's futon. Had to throw the food. <laughs> yeah, had to throw because we like we broke because there are there's like slats in the futon. We broke the food. We broke the slats in the futon. Like dude, like I plowed this chick, and so that was the beginning <laughs> of that. Right. So everyone at the call center knew that we were we were dating. We'd always come to work together and this and that and the other. But this chick was terrible, dude. She had like she was a single mom and she was a terrible mother. Her kid, he was a six year old kid named Santiago, and he was always out of pocket <laughs> and her place was always messy. And so three weeks in, I just decided, you know what? I can't really I, like I can't be with this girl anymore. It's, it's just starting to get on my nerves. So I go to her house and I'm like, hey, you know, look, um, things aren't working out. Time to go our separate ways. Right. And she said, oh, OK. And I was like. All right, cool. Well, um, I'll I'll see you then. She's you like, don't All right, care? See ya. Yeah. She didn't care. A week ago, this like this chick told me she loved me, right? Mm -hmm. And I break up with her a week later and 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 she's okay with it. So I hit this Google search. Why do girls get over breakups so easily? Up comes the dude, the rational male, illimitable man. Um, who dude, um, Obviously, Rolo Tomasi and shout you know, out to Rolo Tomasi, man. Mm -hmm. Yes, shout out to Rolo. Shout for out real. to Rolo Tomasi, guys. Go read the Rational Mail. Go get the book. It's a life saving book. And so, um, and so, yeah. So, uh, I started reading Return of Kings, and so that's that. That's what that was. I'm now I'm I'm RP aware, and I'm still I'm slaying girls all over the place. And real quick, I just got to say something about that because. <laughs> Everyone talks a lot of crap about Roosh, man. But Roosh had some phenomenal books. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? He had yeah. like some really good books on game. I have his most recent book on game. And I'm going to say I, I I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Yeah. He yeah. addressed a lot of the things in the marketplace now with like social media and everything like that. So it's a very it was a more updated uh, pickup type book. So I don't want to call Roosh a martyr, but <clears throat> he took a lot of the slings and the arrows but that right. He really did. He that did. We would be taking now. Facts. So if not, so if not for if not for Roosh, I think a lot of us would probably have been sort of caught in the crossfire. Yeah, he, dude, he's been banned on every platform. He's you know uh, payment processors, you know, ditching him and cities and countries banning him. Yeah, so he was like for a while he was the face getting of this assaulted community. by yes. women. Yes, that claim to be feminists that are you know you know <laughs> we we're we're very woke. You know what I mean? We understand. Yeah. We tolerate anything except for your opinion. Let me assault you. <laughs> and it's crazy, dude. Yeah, like there's video of, of people, like women attacking him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's crazy, man. He has, uh, Roosh has tremendous uh, mental strength. I've known him for years. Um, one of the most mentally, probably yeah. one of those mentally strong people I know. So if not for, and again, th this is another reason I shout out Roosh. If not for Roosh, this doesn't happen, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so I guess that goes into the into the into the Donovan Sharp year. So yeah. a few years after I find the RP, 
Um, I'm I'm making big money at the call center. I had just I had just bought my I just bought my third or fourth uh, property single family dwelling. I wasn't a slumlord, but I used to rent out my properties for three times the amount of my mortgage. That's why I really made money. Real estate, real estate, real estate, here's the thing, baby. Here's the thing. I didn't, I didn't check the, the, the credit of the tenant, but I treated Mm. them like a buy here, pay here lot sort of crossed with a, with a furniture rental place. I needed eight references. I needed paycheck stubs. Um, I needed income verification. Uh, and rent uh, rent was never due on the first. It was always due on their payday. And if they got paid twice a month and their rent was, let's say, $1,600 a month, I'm getting $800 on the 5th and I'm getting $800 on the 20th. That way, that way, when they get paid, I was always the first person that they paid. That's smart. Yeah, it was very, and and, and people were, and, and I had some of the highest rents in Vegas, but I was one of the only, uh, uh, one of the only landlords who wasn't doing a credit check. You put on Craigslist, no credit check, you're getting, you're fielding phone calls all day, every day. Mm-hmm. And so that was sort of the secret to my success there. But by then, my fourth rental property was I was out. I was out earning my job at the call center. So I said, "All right, well, I'm out of here. I've got a nice amount of money saved up. You know, I've got a, I've got a nice, I've got a nice, uh, I've got a nice car. I'm really good with girls. Let's just kick back." So yeah. literally, it was about a week after I left the call center. I'm, I'm just doing nothing. I don't want to hang around the office. My property manager is doing all that for me. And so I'm scrolling through Return of Kings, and I look at the top, and I see that Roosh is like, "Hey, got a story to tell." you know, submit your story. So it took me, I'll never forget this, man. It took me a week. And I wrote, I wrote my first article, my first ever RP article, the four bleep tests, Rocky passed to win Adrian. <laughs> and I wrote the article in two days, but it took me like 10 days to submit it because this is Roosh. This is returning Kings. This is the gold standard. Yep. So I'm writing, I'm rewriting, I'm editing, I'm reading this out loud. I'm reading this to my buddies. If there was one comma or anything out of place, I would go in and correct it. And so finally I said, okay, let me, all right, I'm going to do it. I, I sent it to him, right? I didn't expect to hear back from Roosh for like a month because he's Roosh, he's a busy guy. The very next day, I still have the email. I still have the email. The very next day, he's like, yo, good job on the Rocky submission. Solid. He says, uh, I'll go ahead and, and put it up with, uh, you know, at a later date. And so on March 14th of 2013, or March March 14th of 2014, my very first article as sharpshooter was published on Attorney Kings. Well, there was another uh, there was another uh, writer for Attorney Kings. His name was Athlon McGinnis. This guy was a superstar. I love reading him, Toothmosis, Christian McQueen. Those were my guys. And so Athlon was a black man like me. And so Athlon decided that he wanted to go and but for whatever reason, he didn't want to write for Returning Kings anymore. I think he was going off to school or something. He's a young mm-hmm. guy. Mm-hmm. And so Roosh then reached out to me and said, hey, listen, Athlon McGinnis is is leaving ROK. Would you like to be a staff writer for Return of Kings? And I'm like, are you serious yeah. with this? Because that was the premier guy. For the guys that don't know, that was the premier RP yes. forum. That you was know, the there was a bunch standard. of there was like these seduction ones, PUA ones. But as yeah. far as like straight RP content, yeah, man. Right, that I mean, Troy Francis used to yeah. write on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Donovan was writing on there. A bunch of uh, Ken, uh, Kevin it starts with a K. The guy that lives out in, in Europe, I forget his name. Oh God, there were Kenneth uh, Trouble, something like that. Who? Something, something Trouble. Oh Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Trouble. Trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Kyle, written on yeah, Return yeah, yeah, of Kings. You know Absolutely. what I mean? A bunch of guys wrote on there. So that was like the, the top form for our, the RP stuff back, at least in the uh, the 2010s. So listen, time. in its heyday, when the when the uh, male O sphere was in its heyday, the male sphere. When we were, <laughs> when we were, when we were humming along, like, dude, this is when it was. This is when that community really, really thrived. Feminists hated us. We're always getting reported. We, dude, we absolutely loved it because we were unified. We could not be more divided today. But yeah. back in the day, I would say, I would say, 2014 to maybe 2006 or early 2016. That is when this community thrived, man. And dude, it was an honor to write for him. And so to make a very long story very short, I became so I used to write under the the name of Sharpshooter. And so Ruth said, listen, we want to be uh, we want to sound a little bit more legit because we had guys who wrote for us. Uh, they called themselves runs on magic. There was another guy named uh, Aviator. And Ruth was like, OK, we can't have these screen names as, <laughs> yeah. you know, as as as, you know, as, uh, as pseudonymous. Yeah, right. So, you know, he said, all right, we'll come up with a, you know, come, uh, you know, come up with a, a first name and a last name and we'll just go from there. One of my best friends in Vegas, his name was Donovan. I actually met I actually met him. He had a cleaning business out in Summerlin. And I, I, I'm not even going to get into that story. He was one of my best friends, had a lot of crazy adventures together. So I went Donovan instead of shooter. 
Donovan Sharp. And that's how Donovan Sharp came to be. And from that humble beginning, we have this. It's funny, Ooh. man, because my, my my boy I learned all my game from, like, he's like a pimp to me. Yeah. His name is Donovan. No, <laughs> really? He's a, player, he's a slayer, bro. He goes to the club. Every time is a pull. I don't know how he does wow. it. Every single time. I just wow. watch him. And that's, what I learned. That's, that's, that's actually how I learned my game. I never really read a book. I never really like, looked at form. I learned just watching him yeah. do the game. Yeah. So. The, the, listen, the, the best way, and don't get me wrong, buying books and courses will definitely flatten your learning curve. Yeah. But the only way... You can't read a book on how to drive a car. If you've never driven a car before, you can't read a book on how to drive a car. All right, I'm ready to drive a car. Get in the car and drive cross country. No, you have to get behind the wheel. You have to drive the car. Stick shift too. Can't right. Do oh, right. Dude, I think it's like it, when I was a kid, <laughs> two out of three people didn't know how to drive a stick. Now Dude. it's four out of five people. It's horrible. And I'm not one of those four out of five people. Um, Yeah. So, yep. so uh, <laughs> yeah. A straight I guess I'm the only one life. that doesn't know how to drive <laughs> stick at the table right now. <laughs> stick shift, baby. That's how you go, man. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> stick, dude, stick, dude, stick shift. It's a, it's a panty dropper. Girls love to see a guy who speeds, who drives a stick. That's mm -mm -mm. there you go. Yeah. And then of course you can make jokes there. Oh, you can drive a stick. Yeah. Can you? <laughs> right. And they're like, oh, very funny. Yeah. But you left. <laughs> but so, um, oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. But, but the thing thought. with girls is guys think they can buy a course and mm -hmm. or, or read a book. And all of a sudden you'll be awesome. It'll flatten your learning curve for sure if you have if you have the knowledge, but you have to apply it yes. because no two pickup sets are alike, man. If every day girls are going to say or do something you have never seen or heard before. That's when you have to adjust. So in order to get better with women, you have to talk to women. That's what it comes down to. And you Boom. have to be in the game and experience it for yourself. You know, facts, it. Big you know facts. It. so we got a couple of super chats here. Metal Gear Sodomy. It's two dollars. <laughs> <search. laughs> wow, bro! And, and, and that's Metal hilarious. Gear sodomy. Yeah, that's the that's the Metal Gear sound right there. That's Holy hilarious. God, he goes. Uh, I wrote Myron in on my election ballot. No joke. And we probably just got demonetized thanks to that. So thank oh, you, bro. There is, there is. <laughs> Appreciate the super chat, man. We got Mike. Uh, no go zones. What's up, fellows? Watching you from Winwood, Miami, in the house. Hey, hey that's, Don a, that's a Don DeMarco for sure. And fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so um and let's see do we got anything else no we don't and uh, we got we got 417 people live viewers in the house this is a new oh. record don't forget to like comment subscribe guys get us up to at least 300 likes okay i don't yeah. even know how many we got right now right now we're at uh, actually 162 so come we on 200 get, guys get us a 200 right now man a like is free guys we're not even asking you to buy the course even though we are telling you buy the course <laughs> <laughs> click the link below support donovan guys support us um this it's honestly an honor for me to be able to like i used, I, used to, <laughs> I was watching this guy right a year ago <laughs> uh -huh. now i'm working with him and i'm able to uh you know break bread with him which is, a, is an honor so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah uh so next question donovan because a lot of people i, I want to talk about this we talked about it on my gains podcast a few months ago um People don't know that you're very good with women, like, and you were a player back in the day. Yeah. Like everyone thinks, oh, you know, he has a great LTR. He teaches you how to build a woman from the ground up. Mm -hmm. He teaches you how to run LTR game. But a lot of people don't know that you actually slayed it out. One of the hardest sexual marketplaces in yeah. the United States. I would put Vegas right up there with with Miami. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, womanizing back then? Obviously, this was prior to IG and everything sure. like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Um, yeah, I was uh, I was sort of uh, I came in on the back end of the of the classic, I guess. I guess I can say old school pickup game. PUAs, Tyler Durden, Owen Cook, Mystery, all those guys. Of course. Yeah. And obviously being black, I couldn't you know, I'm, I can't wear the feather bow. I can't have the black <laughs> nails yeah. and I'm not six, nine like Mystery was. Yeah. Um, but um, I was I was born with the gift of gab. Um, I mean, I've. I've I've always been an excellent, excellent salesman and sex is sales. That's what it comes down to. Big facts. Yeah. And, and when you're in front of a customer, you have you have you have a certain amount of time to sort of grab their attention and to build trust and confidence with a customer. Right. Well, that window is very short with women, especially in Las Vegas. And I'll tell you what, man, um, there are there are hot girls all over Las Vegas. I mean, and I'm going to tell you what, dude, we're walking around last night and I was like, yo, this is just like <laughs> Vegas. This is this is this is Las Vegas with, with well, it was Vegas with humidity is pretty much what it was. Mm. And I was like, dude, like this, dude, there were there were smoke shows all over the place. So I'm like, you know, I have flashbacks. I guess that's why I went into Donovan Sharp mode at the table. But um, <laughs> that was yeah, waitress, it, was, it was attractive. Yo, real talk. Was I can tell you this woman because that's how he moves. I was like, yo, this guy's a slayer. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, it's 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 something like, dude, like I did it for almost 10 years years yeah. and and i've been in i've been in a long-term relationship now for god what is it now what did we get together i met her in 16 committed to her in 17 
we're at the three. Yeah, we're at the three year mark. It's been almost five years since we met, man. Wow. Man, that's incredible. So it's been well. We I met five years ago. I didn't leave the game until I actually committed. Mm-hmm. Uh, until I actually committed to her because I was you know I was slaying other girls on the side. But uh, and Deb knew what to do. She knew what was up, and she did what she needed to do. But uh, but yeah, Las Vegas is the. It is it is one of the most difficult, one of the most unforgiving markets to learn game. And this is why I was good, man. And it took me a good law. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. At first, at first, I had to go with the sixes and sevens. I tried game and tens out the gate. That didn't work. I just didn't have the game level, right? Mm-hmm. I had to crawl before I could walk. So I started gaming mostly sixes and sevens. It took me about six months to really get good with them where I could just bang them anytime I wanted. Okay, let's move to sevens and eights. Took me a little longer to get better with eights, but then I said, okay, it's time for the major leagues. It's time to start game in nines and tens. That was a very steep learning curve, but after a while, I got good with them too. Then I got an in with a strip club, and that led to getting an in with another strip club. And after that, the game was it, it was it was literally the game on easy mode. I'm ha- dude, I'm having I'm dating, and I mean I dated six strippers, all of them cheated on me, but I dated them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> but dude, I dude I bang dude I bang more strippers, more freaking um uh, what are they called cocktail waitresses? Yeah, I bang their dude, their friends, their 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 coming, their friends, their friends, friends, and dude, we're doing it was just a wild, it was like a three and a half year magic carpet ride out there, and so my taste for women got very very expensive. So anytime I anytime I did it the street if she was anything less than an eight i just i just couldn't get it up and because of that it led to me i had to really refine things it it really it really kind of makes a man out of you because vegas dude girls have endless options in vegas you know what i mean and they're and they're so oh my god it was crazy and you get a lot of rejection but that teaches you to have very thick skin and having having done that for almost a decade it's 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 the reason why I it's the reason why I know the intricacies. Dude, I've approached thousands of women in Vegas and mm-hmm. I probably dude, I've probably been shot down by 98 percent of them, man. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I still bang. Dude, I still banged a ton of girls because I was out there talking to girls all the time. And so over over that time, I compiled I compiled enough knowledge to know and understand what a woman is going to say, what a woman is going to do before she even, before she even does it. Yep. And, nice. and <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Real quick. This is a very important lesson, right? Donovan knew where he was at from the very beginning. He said, you know what? Yeah, I want nice and tens, but I'm going to work my way up to it. Yeah. And once again, guys, you can learn knowledge here all you want, and I'm glad you're watching the show, but you need to at least at some point get in the game and start doing it. You got to crawl before. Listen, yeah. we all want to bang tens because yeah. they're yep. tens. Yep. But, you, but and I know, I know guys want to bang tens. Mm-hmm. Relax. We're men, okay? We don't age at all, right? right. If you leave tens alone for five years, guess what? They're still going to be around and you'll have more opportunities with those tens as you get older. Yes. Just take your time, learn the game, figure out who you are as a person, right? I figured out that there were some things about myself that were really great. And then some things about me that were not so great. Like my, like my aversion to the powdery white <laughs> substances, <laughs> you know? And so that kind of taught me about that. But yeah, you, you, you have to really... And this, and shout out to Steve Dean Williams, man, because he talks about this all the time. Before you start messing with women, and I know this sounds hokey, but he's right. You got to know who you are yep. because if you don't know who you are and you're running game on these women, guess who's guess who guess who knows that you don't know who you are? She does. Yep. And as soon as she presses that button, you're out. Okay, so you committed to an eight. She's cheating on you. Now you're back to square one. How do I get good with girls? So you Bam. have to really take your time. You got to be patient. Yep. And and we got Andrew Esquire in the house, by the way, in the background. He he just told me to say to you guys that he was referring to sugar. <laughs> when he was uh, talking about the things earlier, <laughs> yes, so <Splenda>. Splenda. <laughs> he was referring to Splenda. So yes, uh, Splenda that is the quote from Esqu- <laughs> from Andrew Esquire protecting Donovan. But anyway, uh, so <laughs> so Donovan, um, and this, and I want to say this real quick because a lot of people that you know are detractors. They say, you know. Uh, getting girls, you know, it shouldn't be this hard, whatever. And it's like people don't understand the fundamentals that you got to get out there and talk to yes. <laughs> hundreds, if not thousands of girls. I called approach a girl today. Took an L. You know what I'm yes. saying? When I was walking to CVS, the civs, as we we call it, right? It's right next door. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, just like you, you guys got to just take L's and it is what it is, man. So you're going to guys. And I say people don't believe me when I say this. You are a god if you close ten percent of Dude. your of your op- like you're the oh only person god. that like I talk to about that and you're like yeah hundred percent other people think I'm crazy when I say that's like no if you close ten no. percent you're like a top guy I don't even think mysteries close rate is ten percent no mi- dude mysteries closing percentage was like was like eight point nine Paul Jenkins was eleven it was like eleven something Paul Jenkins the greatest PUA of all time right yep. he yep. closed eleven percent this means. He slept from with day him. game too, dude. From day, day game. game, he day slept game. with one out of nine women he approached. That's dude. I could if somebody told me, listen, 
I'm going to I'm going to end you if you don't bang one of the nine women. Well, listen, I guess that's it for me. <laughs> it's been a nice ride. It's just it's, it's just impossible to do that. And so many guys are like, dude, how can I have a stable of nines and tens to bang? Dude, you it's a full time job. It's a lot of work. It's man. a full time job. And just like you said, you're going you're going to take so many more L's than you get W's. And and I tell guys this all the time. For every crazy Vegas story about the fake titty. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, a brunette that I banged that, you know, I pulled a power move on and ended up making her look stupid for every one of those stories. There are 37 stories of completely the opposite about how I, I, how I approached a girl and her boyfriend walked up and got mad. You know what I mean? Like it's, you're, you're just going to have to understand you're going to, you are going to take L's. If you resolve that in your mind, okay, listen, man, most girls I approach today are not going to give me their phone number, mm-hmm. right? If you get lucky and go, I don't know, two for 15 or something like that. Hey, you got two fucking phone numbers in in 15 approaches. Yep. We're men. We can. Women can't handle rejection. Yeah. That's why women don't take L's. <laughs> well, this is, well, th- well, see, listen, women are not biologically hardwired to take L's. Facts. This is why the Facts. onus of sexual. How can I put this? Uh, uh, sexual interaction is on us. We have to approach because we can we can take rejection. Women can't. That's right. why it's on us. Bro, there's just so much fire being dropped right now, man. Just like... <laughs> Yo, man. Yeah, for real. So, so as you guys know, me and Donovan are huge cold approach advocates. Straight up. But Fresh is the Instagram god. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, man. That as well, man. Yeah, and, and he cold approaches too, guys. He does. Yeah. But, but he's a whiz when it comes to Instagram, basically getting girls on demand. And we're going to talk to you guys and show you right now. Hey, what up, Fresh Prince CEO? What's going on with you, man? What's up, bro? Yo, so I had this crazy situation just now, man. I was at, you know, my favorite place, the pharmacy store, (laughs) the Sims, so to speak, right? At CVS? Yeah, CVS. What happened? See, this girl, she has pink hair, but she has a bad body, bro. So like, she's going outside. So I go outside as well. And I like stop her and I'm like, hey, you know, I get my my pickup line, (laughs) my, my opener. Hey, you're almost as cute as me. And she, bro, she doesn't even look at me, right? She just like, yeah, don't worry about it. I got you. She just like glued on the phone, bro. And I'm like, and obviously I didn't like, <laughs> I gave her some space. I wasn't weird about it, whatever it may be. Textbook, you know, op- Yo, real book. talk, man. Like, you need to get on your social media game. Because you could be at home chilling like me in the studio and you get bad chicks hitting you up to chill. Yeah, man, it's digital world we live in, bro. You, you're really gonna only be able to get chicks if you like maximize social media. You know, cold approach is cool and everything, but she ain't gonna be able to see. No, I'm serious, bro. Like, from your own comfort of your own home, literally, wherever you're at. Yeah, Anywhere man. In the world. Cold approaching these chicks is, is getting me tight, man. I need to I need to switch it up a little bit, and uh, I'm excited to learn the social media way on how to do this. I know it sucks. I do cold approach sometimes, but I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. We're definitely gonna help you out with this and get your social media game on point. But yeah, bro. Oh, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. I'm gonna holla at you. I'm gonna holla at hey. you. Hey. Fresh, you there? Man, this dude, bro. Oh, oh man. man, yo, and guys, that was a That's true great, story. Man. We literally filmed that the day <laughs> yep. I got rejected by that chick, and I was tight. This is great. <laughs> so that's you guys like because uh, shout out to Lucario, man. Go get his book. How to have sex with two women a day, guys. But uh, we were on Lucario stream and we played the ad the first time. I was like, man, you guys had some good acting. I was like, nah, bro, that wasn't that acting. Was real, right? <laughs> that was for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I legitimately got rejected by this chick at CVS. But um, <laughs> here, I'll go through the super chats real quick because we got a couple of them. Yo, shout out to Solo TV hey! 84 in the house. Hey! Salute to you guys creating new records. Shout out to Donovan. Got a pod coming over. We'll send the receipts later. I call her draft throw. Yo, for <laughs> <laughs> For anyone that doesn't think that Solo gets chicks, you guys are sadly mistaken. Yep. Oh, he sends These us guys. the receipts, bro, all the time. He's yep. really out here, bro. Um, here like let's see here. And we got Avi Kingdom in the house. Another one. <laughs> Thank you to Avi Kingdom, legit, man. man yeah. Salute mm-hmm. my MYG. Your grind is amazing. It should be respected just as much as your game. Respect. Yo, shout out to Avi real quick, guys. Go get his book, man, because... He was the first guy I did a live stream with on YouTube, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, was he? No. Donovan was first. Afi was the second. So, yo, thank you for bringing me on and believing in me, dude. So I appreciate yep. that greatly. Uh, Bobby McKnight Harrison, $10. We got to bring Solo and my, uh, Afi out here, man. Solo is going to come hopefully sometime in January, January or January, early yeah. 2021. Mm-hmm. And then Afi, I'll actually text you and we'll set something up for you to bring you from Oakland. Uh, we yeah. got Bobby McKnight, loyal patron. Get the likes up. Always showing love and support. Yeah, Bobby, appreciate you, bro. And... Uh, yeah, man. And guys, we got 475 live viewers right now. 483. 483. I'm, yeah. I guess I'm off. Do it. 
Please like the video, guys. Help us get up in the algorithm because obviously this type of content is constantly getting censored. You know it. You know, guys like Donovan Sharp have been banned, deplatformed, <laughs> etc. So like the video so we can get pushed in the algorithm. Click the link below to get Donovan's, uh, you know, affiliate code for DMs on Demand, 11 modules, teach you guys how to get girls on Instagram, which Fresh is going to talk right now a little bit about the, the power of Instagram and his numbers compared to us with the cold approach. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Fresh. Yeah, guys. So as you all know, like, Today's uh, market is kind of different. Uh, There's a lot of social media going on, a lot of digital stuff going on around the world. And for the most part, girls are kind of like hardwired to be stuck onto social media. Yeah. So their attention and their their uh, eyes are on social media. So for the most part, you go in, in public, right? You meet a chick uh, on the street. She probably has dudes in her DM saying, hey, I'll fly out to Dubai. I'll fly you to like, you know what I'm saying? My spot, we'll have dinner, whatever. Off, all online. Versus you, you meet a person, she's like, oh, who are you? What do you do? And she's seen the people online hit her up. They have like nice cars, nice lifestyles. Like, yeah. why she can talk to you on the street for the most part? So that's another barrier of entry hmm. cold, with a cold approach. And most guys don't think about it. You know what? Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm ugly. But for the most part, she's so many options that look. You come into her off the street. Who are you? So I did cold approach when it first came into Miami uh, two years ago. I did like a lot of cold approach, and I made some progress, but also got a, a lot of L's. Right? And like I say all the time, whenever you're learning game, you have to apply it. And by applying it, you can learn lessons for yourself. And the reason why we're all talking to you right now, me, um, Donovan, and Myron, because we had a lot of L's ourselves. Oh, yeah. So we know from experience yeah. what's going on. And guys, anyone that's in the game knows someone else, someone else that's also in the game as well. Yeah. So the real deal. There's universal with behaviors that, that guys that are good with women all exhibit. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's and right. like, uh, you know, I, I, I felt this when I talked, obviously, when I spoke with Donovan, mm -hmm. Lucario, Fresh, etc. Yep. There's just universal behaviors, man, and like mindsets that. Guys that are good with women have. And one of the fundamental ones is what? You don't let a woman lead ever, right? No. You know, nice. these guys that believe in this egalitarian BS, like, you guys are very, I, all I got to say Are you dumb, stupid, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what's going on with that? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. now, man, so uh, do you have anything else fresh? Or yeah, I was so going to ask Donovan the next uh, question. Run into it real quick. So then, yeah, please. I did call a push, right? I was like, you know what? This is cool and all, but I'm not getting the results that I really want as a guy. And I know I have a lot of value. So I looked online at people. I was like, yo, how these dudes banging like these uh, nice and tense, back to back. How to live in the lifestyle? I want to be, I want to be that, that dude online, right? Mm -hmm. So I studied these, these dudes for like a year. I just stayed at work, uh, hit the gym for a little bit, invested in, in real estate. Study these dudes, right? I said, you know what? These guys have a good lifestyle. They have a good profile, and it's attractive. And one of the main barriers for females is that they want to make sure that if they come to you, you're gonna give them a, a fun time. Yeah, facts. And they're, and they're gonna enjoy it's your. It's a big body. reason why women flake. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. A lot of weirdos. <laughs> So here in Miami, me and Myron are dealing with sugar daddies. We're dealing with uh, guys that just throw money at girls to big simps. Yep. And that's our competition. That, and boyfriends that want to like cater to their girl. Versus us, we're, we're RP aware. We want to, you know what I'm saying, like have a good frame and come at them, you know what I'm saying, without spending any money. Yeah. So for facts. the most part, how do you do that? And we figured out as well, even, and it, this, this can happen anywhere in the world. You could be in France, China, wherever you're at. But for the most part, most girls are looking at social media. Facts. So if you set up a good profile for yourself and you set up like a good, a good thirst trap. So, so for example, right? Girls trap you with thirst traps of their body, and yep. as guys, we trap you with lifestyle traps. There it is. So for example, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> literally every day, I could have a no, no cap, and he's seen it. Three to five girls on a date with me every single day. I had to make, I had to reel them back because they started messing with our money, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I had to actually stop no, it. But, but no, no. But listen, this is it, it's funny. You're 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 absolutely right. Yeah. And I'd never really thought of it that way, right? So a girl, you know, Instagram pics of her booty. Oh yeah, let me like and all that other kind of stuff. Well, we can't do Instagram pictures of our of our asses because that's stupid, right? Yeah, like, weird. well, you know, no girls. It, as, as the saying goes, man, a lot of you young guys don't know this, but girls just want to have fun. Yes, That's facts. what it comes That's down it. to, man. And if a dude, if a girl sees you out having fun, if you're a cool restaurants, you know, even if you don't have the money to travel when you're doing fun things, put it on Instagram. Like I've like I've, I've, I've learned all this like the last 24 hours. Yeah. If you have if you're if you're well to do. Don't flash money, right? Mm -hmm. Flash your lifestyle. Yes. If you drive a nice car, take a picture of yourself in your nice car. Don't take a picture of Kirby. Like, yeah, check out my Mercedes. No, nah, just a random roundabout picture. Maybe, maybe you at a nice restaurant. Maybe your Mercedes keys, like, kind of on the side, something like that. Oh, subtle. That's the first. Yeah, that's the first thing the girl's <laughs> gonna see. She's not gonna see your your uh, thirty five your thirty five ounce uh, uh, tomahawk steak. Yep. Remember yeah, remember yeah, 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 yeah. that one. She's not gonna see that. She's like, oh, oh, this guy's eating a thirty five ounce tomahawk steak. And oh, by the way, he drives a, Mer a Mercedes. Mercedes Benz AMG GT. Okay, let me Girls see. Girls notice the small things. They do. They do. Like they are biologically. Hard. And again, they are bio. It's 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 such it's such a uh, um, it's a dichotomy that is as old as time itself. We are biologically hardwired to look at a woman 
and tell if she is fertile. Right now, right. we're not thinking we want to we want to bang a chick and, and, and put babies in her. Right. But that's what the firmware is telling us. And there are certain physical traits of women that indicate to us that she is fertile. Youth, beauty, hips, you know, bust, all that other kind of stuff. Well, on the other side of that coin, women are biologically hard drive to seek out resources. And when she sees Mercedes or you, uh, you know, jet setting, whatever the case may be, out traveling expensive restaurants, that says to a girl that you that you have resources. She's going to be attracted to that. That's just how it is. It's always the way it's been. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that, was well that was a very well said way to put it, man. I like, one more thing to that. Yeah, go ahead. So he's Donovan is actually 100 percent right. And uh, this is going to segue perfectly, perfectly into what I what I want to say. So basically, right, showing high value DHV yeah. is best shown on, on social media. Like if you guys didn't know, social media is probably the biggest dating app in the world, especially Instagram, because everyone's eyes are on there. Yep. So for the most part, if you can get yourself established well on there, pretty much the world is your oyster. And I'll, I'll leave one example here, right? So for example, let's say you're on a boat, right? Let's yep. say there's four guys on the street. There's one hot chick, right? Mm -hmm. Three guys go approach her. You're the fourth guy. Mm -hmm. You guys talk to her. They spit game. Mm -hmm. They like whatever they got a phone number, yep. right? Three guys text her, hey, this is Donovan that met you down the street. Let's link up, right? Mm -hmm. Then I come and approach her, right? Mm -hmm. And I say, hey, you know what? I like your vibe, you seem pretty cool. Let's connect and maybe chill later. I give her my Instagram. She follows me back. Let me stop you right there. Do you see what he did? <laughs> I like your vibe. Maybe we should chill. What he just did is he let her know, I want to chill with you because I like your vibe, right? Yeah. You're, like, like, it's almost like you're telling, you're, it, it's, you're letting her know you have qualified yep. to hang with me. Mm -hmm. yep. Let me check out your, okay, vibe is cool. All right, you can come, you can chill with me. Listen, you got to be able to pick up on those nuances, man. If you, dude, if a girl thinks of you as a slam dunk, if she thinks of you as a foregone conclusion, she's going to get bored. Facts. Yes. But if she finds herself qualifying herself to you, like you welcome to a girl, well, you're, if even in a, in a pickup set, you kind of look at your shoes look interesting. Yeah, really? How much did you pay for those? Your shoes look interesting. I didn't say I liked them. Didn't say I didn't. I said your shoes look interesting. How much did you pay for them? In her mind, she's thinking, okay, if I tell him that they were $47, is he going to think I'm a cheapskate? Or if I tell him they're $85, does he think that I'm bad with money, right? Yeah. So what's the next question they're going to ask? They're going to say, well, why do you want to know how much my shoes are? I want to know if you understand the value of a dollar. <laughs> I'm not a cheap day here. Like, I mean, you're paying, right? Yeah. Yeah. He, he, ha, ha, ha. And, again, and, and so when she starts to ask you these questions and then when she tries to sharp angle you, well, how much did your shoes cost? You a natural blonde? <laughs> what, what why do you what why are you so what, what, why is my natural I, I get bored easily oh well you know i like to change it up guess what she's now qualifying herself to you does he not like natural blondes does he like girls today you have you have to keep women on their heels literally and figuratively yes. if you want to build attraction you have to let her know that you are not in the bank man you got to let her know bitch you got to qualify yourself to me yeah you have i'm to. the one that's going to look good at 45 years old okay you're the one that's not right yeah. Time is on my side, sweetie. So I got all the time in the world to pick from all these bitches giving away pussy like it's Halloween candy. Right. <laughs> so you better make your play, or I'm gonna move on to next uh, yeah. to the next, you know, big titty blonde haired bimbo who may or may not be a natural blonde. That's how this goes. Woman yeah, is, no, yeah. man. Woman is 101. Yeah, man. And yeah, we're man. actually gonna transition to that. We got a couple of super chats. Right. Um, we got Mike No Go Zones. Uh, question for the group: Are y'all in shock? Are you all in shock at the popularity of OnlyFans out there? See, guys. How does Thirsty Guy have to subscribe to that? Um, we will uh, do a QA at the end. Don't worry, guys. We got the phone lines open. And we got Bull John from Bulldog Mindset in the house. Guys, go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He says, dropping bombs, guys. Listen up. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys are getting a lot of game right now, bro. Fire like, game. seriously. Like, this is, this is man, I, I was trying to push my Instagram course, but instead we're giving you guys a whole bunch of, <laughs> we're giving you guys a bunch of game. So uh, that transitions perfectly into what I wanted to go into. Donovan, you're well known. Obviously, you exploded when you started uh, deciphering uh, womanese, as yeah. we would say, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, even I've, I did one video on it, you know, following <laughs> suit, because I think that's such excellent content for men to learn yeah. that what a woman says and what she does are two different things, which guys don't understand. Right. You know what I mean? I say, right. I think a fundamental of RP awareness is understanding this, <laughs> this pretty much the steadfast truth, the steadfast truth that when women say something, Nine out of ten times, it means something else, especially right. when they're talking to the opposite gender. Right. Yep. You know, yes. so and you've basically been able to decipher a bunch of phrases that women use all the time. And you actually made a really great course on it. Yeah. Um, what would you say are the top five <laughs> phrases oh my God. That, um, that, that women use? <laughs> hmm. Oh, OK. Um, here's when I'll, I'll have to I'll have to sort of pull these out. Class of the is in session right now, guys. Let's go. Here we go. So. 
I guess the number one and like the, the video, guys. Oh, yes. Like the video. Like the video because like he's about to drop some serious game on you guys. Subscribe to this channel, Donovan Sharp. Get him to a hundred thousand subs, guys. We are five twenty seven watching right 527 now. Five twenty seven watching right now. That's a new record, isn't it, Chris? Right? Yeah. Yep. Andrew in the back. Yep. Yep. You said don't say anything crazy though. <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead, uh, Donovan. My bad. So the number one, uh, the number one phrase, and and a lot of guys. Well, how did you get all of this? And it's funny when I hired the models for Womanies Volume Three. Yeah. One of the models asked me, "Well, what research did you do?" <laughs> Is this based Life. on research? No, she said, "Is this based on research?" I said, "No, this is based on personal experience. Whether the job or not." She's like, "Okay, I'll take the job." Yeah, <laughs> she didn't want to miss out on that money. Yep. Um. So, so, uh, but I, but again, I've heard everything, dude. I can't even like my mind is it just wants to explode. I've heard every phrase question that every woman has ever said to a man a thousand times. Mm. And you start to see patterns, right? Like you start to see, oh, okay. So when a girl says this, she usually means this. The number one, the, the number one phrase that I heard girls say in terms of what they said versus what they mean. And I'm sure you guys have heard this is I don't normally do this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but Bro, you, when she like, says that, you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, like, like, and dude, it's, it's funny, man. I had this one girl back at my place. I didn't even, I hadn't even banged her. She's like, I don't normally do this. I was like, whoa, slow down there. <laughs> I'm not a, like, like, what are we doing here? I'm trying to save myself for, I'm, I'm trying to save myself for marriage. And that kind of loosened things up because yeah. I could tell that she was hesitant for sure. She wanted to bang, but she didn't want to look like a, you know what? Yep. The Garden reason tool. why girls, part of the reason why girls um, tell you, I don't normally do this is they want to, not only they don't want to look like a, you know what? Yeah. Uh, sausage collector, bone collector, I guess. <laughs> they don't want to look like that to you, number one. Number two, they want to make you feel special. Yeah. They want to make you feel, I don't normally, and see again, she says, I don't normally do this. Translation, what she says, I don't normally, what, what, what this means is, I do this all the time. But what she wants to make you think is that, is that you are somehow special. Selling purity, baby. Dude, Selling purity. There it is. Girls, that's yeah. what they I don't do with normally do this, but you are so awesome. You are so awesome. I'm going to do this with you tonight. 37 minutes after you approach me on the Vegas strip, right? <laughs> like, and, and guys understand this. You will never be her first. You will never be her biggest. You'll never be her best. You'll never be her only guys. Women are never not banging. You are not special. She just wants you to think that you are. So that's part of the, that's part of the sell job. But when they tell you, I don't normally do this, they're, they're trying not to look like an S word, but they want to make you feel that you're somehow unique or special. Can so that's the that? number one. Can I add to that? It's funny. Cause whenever I hear that phrase, I'm like, yo, I'm getting some tonight. I'm good to oh, go. Yeah. It's yeah. coming, and I know what it is. So you're right. 100%. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, 100, percent man. And 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 the reason why. Let me just 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 rewind here. Women are not designed to be. They're not designed to be direct, right? Yep. And there's so many guys in this community. Why can't girls just say what they mean? That's not what they do. Yeah. That's not what they do. So, if you expect the girl, I just want a girl to be straight up with me, fam. It's gonna be a long. It's gonna be a long wait. Survival. Man. Yeah. Survival. Yeah, that's that's how it is. Women can't like the thing is this, man. And this was part of the the female in too. Women want to maintain that air of mystery and aura Fact. and and mystery and intrigue, right? But then when guys like us come along, mm -hmm. we sort of lift the veil. That's why when girls say, we don't do that. Yes, you do. Yeah. You just want to. You just want to remain mysterious. No. Girls burp, fart, and shit just like everybody else. They just do it in a different way. That's what you have to understand. So yeah. girls always, girls like being coy. It's almost like they can't, like they have to, they can't show you their hand because as soon as they show you their hand, guess what? They don't have any more leverage. That's why they keep their hand as close to the best as possible. So when she tells you, I haven't been in a relationship in two years, right? Yeah. What she means is I've been fucking dudes by the truckload <laughs> off of Tinder for two years. She wants you to think that she's been living in a convent somewhere waiting for Jesus Christ himself to hand deliver her Mr. Right. But it hasn't been Jesus Christ. It's been Donovan Sharp delivering her Mr. Right now. Exactly. That's what that is. Girls are never single. Never no. single. No. Never. Yeah, and especially no, like no. a single chick, man, like a, sorry, like a hot chick, like your eights, nines, oh. tens. Bro, that definitely those chicks. She belongs to the street. One thousand percent <laughs> community day. property, property man. Because you're never going to be able to compete with the dudes that like. We did a whole episode on this with dealing with nines and tens. Yeah. Yep. And you're never going to be able to really like compete with the the suitors and the suckers that are going to hang out with them. Because let me tell you guys something, man. Me and Fresh are dealing with this right now, actually, with a couple right, of chicks. Yep. Like, a, if if a guy makes a lot of money and he's willing to trick. He's going to beat you every single time. That's right. No matter how much game you have, I hate to say it, guys. Like, 
these chicks that are nines and tens, etc., they're gonna get the bag over meeting you for a coffee, bro. Like yeah. that's just the reality. Guys, game only goes so far. Yeah. But then money and game goes way further. Yeah. Yes. You know, and, and yes. quite frankly, if you only got game and then one other guy only got money. He's going to probably gonna beat you, bro. Because he's going to offer things that you can't offer. Yeah. And by default, what is it? Lifestyle. She wants to have fun. Yep. What's she going to go with? The guy with a yacht. The guy and in today's the... society, with mm -hmm. Instagram and everything like that, that's just how girls are. Because yep. the, the, the marketplace now, is, is the sexual marketplace is global. It's a set. So yeah. girls are right. like getting flown out. Girls are hanging out with celebrities, whatever it may be. Bro, every, like, mo a lot, almost every chick I've, like, went out with here in Miami has had some kind of situation where she either dealt with a celebrity, she was invited to a party, sugar invited daddy. to some kind of, or has a sugar day, some kind of situation where she was inadvertently put in front of a high value guy yeah. without having to try. Yep. Whereas like for us, which I always talk about, men and women aren't the same. And the re a big reason why we're not the same is as a man, you have to perform, right? Like yeah. if you don't perform as a guy, you're not going to get chicks. If a girl doesn't perform, however, she could still get high value guys if she's hot enough. She could still get a celebrity, a well, rapper, head DMR. Listen, exactly, that's what yeah. performance is yep. being hot, right? Yep. And Rich Cooper says this all the time. Uh, um, uh, da, 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 da. Girls, we as men, we have to build value. Women simply have to preserve it. Facts. And yep. a lot of people, a lot of guys, it's not fair that sixes, fives and sixes can get way more sausage than a guy who's an eight, a nine or a ten <laughs> can get tacos. That's the way it is, man. Girls, dude, man, listen, man, check this out. All girls have to do is keep it on the road. That's it. Just show up. Just, dude, just show up. Keep, just keep the train on the tracks. Keep the car on the road, and you're set. If a girl gets to 18, if a girl gets to 18 years old, she doesn't even have to be good looking. She can be average looking. If she gets to 18 years old as a virgin with no tattoos, she doesn't start smoking, and she doesn't have any crazy tattoos or, or cra crazy piercings, that's a lottery ticket. She can, dude, she will command the respect of high value men the world over yep. because she is a commodity so many girls blow their lottery winnings in their teens but then they expect to collect when they're 35 no sweetie like you already cashed in on that you yep. don't you don't get to cash in on all the easy sausage when you're young and hot and then cash in when you're 35 and used a player it doesn't work that way Donovan, yeah. can i tell you i know 18 year old girls right now just just turn 18 right yeah they have their cars paid for yeah. oh mortgage Jesus. rent paid for wow and whatever they want these dudes are paying buying them Birkin bags, all these stuff. And I'm like, yo, you think she can mess with a regular dude with game? No. No. It doesn't matter how much game you bro, have, bro. Yeah. It, like this is and this is how you could tell guys really See, in the that, game. Wait, go wait ahead, real quick, ahead. real quick. Yeah. You can be you're you can still smash those girls, but you have to understand that you're only gonna be smashing her. See, girls like that who are sponsored, yeah, they step out on their men all the time with dudes like us. Yeah, right. Because dude, when I was in Vegas, I messed with girls who were sugar babies. I messed with girls who had houses paid off and all this other kind of stuff. I knew that I was never going to lock that girl down because she was all right, she was all she was always spoken for. So a guy, so a a lot of guys in the in you know in, in this community well if you have money and looks you can get all the girls okay fair enough but she's stepping out on those guys with dudes like us but on the flip side we have to understand you can't catch feelings for these girls because she she's not leaving the guy with the lamborghini in the penthouse in miami or in vegas for you with your little two listen you dig her down you make her feel you, you put you give her that roller coaster of emotions but you can't give her the other side of that and when it comes to hypergamy a woman is never going to leave beta bucks for alpha fucks she'll go fuck alpha fucks all day long yeah she's never leaving beta bucks that's what you have to understand my thing is some of these guys want to wipe, wipe these chicks up i'm like no you what? can't you do they want nine yeah. and tens. No, you don't know no. what nine tens do. You don't know what they do, so you don't really want want that because when you really get one, you're like, yo, this is not. Listen, bro, nines and tens, nines and the reason why nines and tens are community property is because everybody smash or all the high value men smash them. They just pass these girls around. This is why we say <laughs> we belong. These girls belong to dude. The same dude, she belongs to the streets. Like every dude out there who owns, like let's say there's ten guys out there who own who own a yacht, right? Got ten yacht owners, Circle. dude. Uh, dude. <laughs> they can talk 20 they're eskimo brothers 24 times over oh you smashed teresa oh word you smashed Cla oh, oh for real you smashed stefania too they smash the same girls man they just pass these girls around so they belong to the community Donovan, you will never own those girls can you tell Donovan what happens with us on instagram yeah so it man like it happens all the time where we got girls that and here's the thing you guys got to understand too when you're dealing with like the top tier chick like yeah. very attractive women right like they're going to be very flaky mm -hmm. all the time because they got the beta bucks yep, yep. so when he's in town they're going to deal with him but when he leaves, then that's when she'll be a little bit more responsive, whatever. That's go. when you got to set up the date and go out with her. And you got to understand that you ain't going to wife her. You're not going to take right. her serious. 
None of that because girls like that, they're just like Donovan said, they're spoken for. There's a chick right now that uh, there, a couple of chicks that me and Fresh are dealing with. Like, we look at their stories. They're in a Lambo one day, they're in a Rolls Royce the other day. They show Birkin bags, whatever. You yeah. will only still smash talking her. Us. You'll never own her. Exactly. You will only smash her. Those yeah. types of chicks. And, and some suckers chicks, paying. Bro, literally. Some suckers paying for that. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, literally. Like, I'll follow a girl on Instagram, right? I'll date her, whatever. I say, yo, you seen this girl before, uh, Fresh? Like, yeah, I just had her here. I know she's dating Myron. It's like, yo, what the Oh, word. It's mm. like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, That's my brothers, man. Listen, these <laughs> girls, dude, Big all facts. of these girls get passed around. Yeah. And listen, don't get me wrong, man. These girls are so good at making you feel like you're the one. Mm -hmm. Even though they have a, a guy with a Lambo paying all her bills and she's coming and smashing you, she's not leaving you for that guy. She'll yep. bang you all day long. Facts. Like, you, you listen, you'll get the ass, but you're not ever getting, you will never possess her. Mm -hmm. No one will ever possess her. Not even the guy who sponsors her yes. really owns her because she's running around on him. Just understand, you can only smash these girls. These girls are only good for bone yeah. collecting. That's don't, it. don't wife those chicks up. We got a couple super Perfect. chats real quick. So uh, a lot of game for you guys there. A lot of RP is being dropped, but guys, this is the reality. Um, simple coder with the 999 super chat. Do women really find you more attractive in your 30s? Assuming you take care of your body, finances, game, etc. Yes. Does being yes. in your 30s make you yes. more yes. handsome? Yeah, I guess we yes. can get into the Q&A. Guys, f uh, phone lines are open. 515. Uh, it's uh, 515-605-9740. So we'll answer some of these questions right now. Um, yeah, man, absolutely, man. You guys got to understand that as a man, as you get older, the things that make you attractive take time to acquire. And in your 30s, you can absolutely get girls still. You're the biggest mistake I think that guys, blue pill guys make yeah. is thinking they adhere to the same mating timeline as a woman. Yes. <laughs> that's why they're running down the aisle at 29 oh years God. old, marrying a chick that's 31 or 27 or 28. She's about to hit the wall thing. And he's like, Oh, I'm about to get old too. It's like, nah, bro. Women will always try to shame you. Oh, you're 30 years old in the club? What's wrong with you? It's like, nah, baby, I'm not like you. I'm the 21 year old now. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm the listen, hot 21 year old. Listen, if 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 you guys haven't heard anything we've said now, understand this. A 30 if you're if you're 36 years old and you're a man with RP awareness, okay? You are literally you are the hot 19 year old. Yes. Right? Like that like that's the equivalent. You as a 37 year old who has himself together is the hot 19 year old. The world is your oyster. So just understand that you are in the power position at that point. When you're in a tw when you're in your 20s, you're supposed to get played by girls. You're supposed to get your heart broke. You're supposed to be working on yourself. By the time you start to get a little gray in your beard, a little bit of gray in your hair, that's when the real fun begins. And another big Facts. problem is guys get into a lot of debt. They don't work on the business. They don't work on themselves. And then yeah, when you're 30s, like, oh shit, I'm back to square one. Now. Yeah. How do I build up from there? Yep. So yep. and yeah, you, you guys got to do the work. I, like, mm -hmm. listen, being older, 35, whatever it may be, I always say. You don't get into an LTR until you have five things in place. Yep. You got making $100,000 a year at least, six months of savings in the bank. Mm -hmm. You oh, have yeah. a 50 lay count, uh, 35 years old, and you're in shape. Yep. And the reason why I say this is this is what I call say, right? Shout out to Kevin Samuels, man. We'll have him on the show as well. This is what I call you. It makes you an entry-level high-value guy. And with these things in place, you can start to exert boundaries on chicks. Oh, yeah. Because guys, quite frankly, a lot of you guys don't have enough Pokemon badges to get these girls <laughs> going. And, yo, we got 600, 600 live people. viewers, baby. Oh, I think that's goodness. a new record with Donovan Sharp in the house. <laughs> Thanks, Donovan. Donovan. Shout out to Donovan Sharp, man. Yep. Uh, yo, guys, don't forget to like the video, guys. Get us up to 400 likes. Push us in the algorithm because obviously you guys know this type of content always gets censored. Also, also get DMs on demand. Sub to Donovan. His channel's in the um, chat. Yes. Don't forget. Yep. Almost there. Get uh, the, Sub to Donovan. Get the DMs on demand course with Donovan's affiliate link in the description box, guys. Mm -hmm. Support him. Support us. Support the creation of this content. As you guys know, as a matter of fact, this is beautiful that he's here right now. Yeah. I I'm going to say this right now. We're two content creators in this sphere for sure that you guys know for a fact. Take this money mm -hmm. and invest it right back oh, yeah. into yeah, the, the content production. Yeah. Yep. Because I ain't going to say no names, but there's a lot of content creators out there that take the money and do other things with it. And they don't invest it back in content creation, no, they man. They're gone. So, you know, they gone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, support us, guys, because if you guys support us, obviously, we're going to keep bringing you guys fire like this. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep going. Uh, a couple more super chats. James Young, the girl is simply giving you a turn. That's one thousand percent facts. Yep. Uh, we probably got we uh, Chris, the phone lines. All right, we'll uh, we'll take a caller. Caller, you're in. Uh, Seven oh three. And then we'll handle that other super chat before about OnlyFans. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is it? Seven oh three. All right, we got seven oh three on the line. You're on the Fresh Fit Podcast. Well, with special guest Donovan you? Sharp. How you How you guys doing, right? Good, good man. Good. What's up, man? Good. All right. I'm like your little brother. You know, I have a question. <laughs> I, I have, I, you know, I'm still living with my parents and everything. And I, I'm at the you from a Tinder. How old are you? 25. I make pretty good. Okay. 25. Well, 20, listen, I, listen, I don't want to cut you off here. 25 and living with your parents in 2020, 
Yeah. Not a bad thing, right? But you said, I'm 25. I live with my parents. I met this girl. Please continue. <laughs> yeah. How do I operate using like hotels? Like, what kind of hotel game would you have for your, like, your younger brother who is interested in somebody who also lives with their parents? So the other person is down to do the hotel thing. But just what are some advice that you can give? Yeah, don't do hotels, man. Uh, do Airbnbs. Um, I did a, uh, I actually did a podcast a long time ago, uh, how to get laid if you don't have a car and you live at home with your parents. Now, this does not mean that you should try to go get laid if you live at home with your parents and you don't have a car. But if someone happens to hand you cheese pizza and you didn't do anything for it, you know, shout out the Joker for that. Mm -hmm. And she's down to bang, dude, just get Airbnbs, man. Like that's like, listen, man, just, just do, do Airbnbs and Uber. You have to have yourself together. Right. And you're 25 years old. You have plenty of time. You need to get your priorities in line. But if this girl is offering up her peace sleeve on a platter, I wouldn't even do, I guess you could either do hotels or Airbnb, but yeah, make sure when you smash her, do not do it at your parents' house. That's my advice to you. That's mm -hmm. very good because also as well, using the current tools we have in today's market to get what you want. Yes. Yeah. Uber, Airbnb, and it's way cheaper anyway. Yeah. So right. You save time, you save money and you get what you want and you go get out and then work, work on yourself as well. Listen, man, as a, and it is funny, this just came to me. If, mm -hmm. if you're a young guy and you've got a one, and you're not making any money, right? You're 25, you're not making any money. If you're a young guy. No, you gotta, I'm making good, mo make good money. So why are we living with mom and dad? The market is too aggressive right now. I'm unable to purchase a home, unfortunately. So I, I why not? The money. I understand. So why not? Oh, so right. okay, okay. All right, all right. So he so he's want trying, to just being smart with his money. Yeah. Um. So he'd rather he'd rather buy a house. But he'd rather wait to buy a house until the market turns. Okay. Then all right. All right. Well, yeah, okay. Let me let me that. let me ask this, man. Okay, you're 25 years old. You don't have a kids or or, or a wife, obviously, correct? No. Yeah. I'm totally and, and where, do you, where do you working. live? Where do you live? Uh, outside of DC, like Northern Virginia. Okay. Uh, what's your current lay count? Don't lie. Don't cap. Uh, what is that? How many what girls have you had fornication with? <laughs> uh, like just a little over ten, because I took a few years off to myself. That's fine, man. Don't rationalize it. It's fine because I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now what you need to do. You can go ahead and buy a house if you want, bro. But if your goal is to get out there and deal with chicks, you need to move to a major city and get in a nice part of that major city. Yeah. You know what I'm yep. saying? If you truly want to get out there and work the numbers game, because let me tell you what happens when you buy a house. You're gonna be out in the middle of nowhere, right in the suburbs. Chicks ain't going to want to drive out to come mm -hmm. see you, all right? So you're going to have logistical problems off rip. You're going to have to drive to any bar you want to go to. You're going to have to drive to any yes. type of nightlife you want to go to. And not any guy that's good with women is going to tell you half the game is logistics. Dude, no, it's, dude, 90% <laughs> of the game is logistics. Dude, you could have, dude, you could have the, the world's tightest game. If the logistics don't match up, you're, like, you're done. I'm going to tell you what, man, like I've watched, dude, I have seen situations where a guy like, well, a guy is escalating with a girl. Oh, where do you live? Oh, I live in Summerlin or I live in Indian Springs. Oh, and then everything goes south. I've had girls go cold on me just before I moved to the strip. Run game on a girl approach, get the get the meetup and everything in the taxi ride on the way to my place. It's like 15, 20 minutes away. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden she'll go cold to get back to my place. I don't lay. As soon as I moved to the strip, it, dude, it's a, a three minute drive. Things were still hot and heavy. Logistics are 90. Per, well, I wouldn't say 90%, but they're very important. important. It's very if, important, man. If logistics aren't in place, then you're really going to be hampering yourself. And bro, yeah. quite frankly, you're 25 years old. You don't have a kid. You don't have kids or a family. You don't care about the school zone. I would rent. Rent, it lets you f have freedom, my friend. Yeah, you know as, what I'm saying? As, you, as a young guy, you want to be mobile, mm -hmm. bro. You don't want to be tied down unless it's a good investment, I would say. You don't, you don't want to be tied down to yeah, property, Yeah, and even bro. if you do buy property, rental property, man. Don't yeah. live in that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? As a young yeah. guy. So yeah. you need to get out there and have more experience, Let bro. Quite frankly, this. living with your parents, mm -hmm. it's gonna. I, I'm going to give you some tough love right now. It's making you a pussy, quite frankly. You got to get the fuck out your parents' house. Get out there. Live on your own. Get an apartment. That's going to make you a little bit more edgy. And that's going to make you more attractive. Living with your parents makes you soft. You know, you know what? You're right. And and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, there's yeah. an apt analogy. We got a lot of baby mamas out here, uh, you know, <laughs> on, on welfare. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Think about this, Frax, right? Frax. You get and, and, there, and, and single motherhood is incentivized. Why? Because single mothers get free housing. They get free health care. They get free food and all that. Single moms who are in the system are some of the most unmotivated people. Why? Because they don't have a reason to go out there and do something. Living with your parents isn't a bad thing per se, but 
you're not you're like you're not hungry enough. This is why guys who beat off all the right. time never approach girls because your balls aren't heavy. Facts, yep. If you don't beat off and your balls are heavy, you're like, I gotta get laid. It's coming out yep. of your pores. You, you walk like a man. You sound like a man. So, and don't get me wrong, man. Physically, I understand why you're waiting to buy a house. So I certainly I certainly can't hate on that. But by the same token, living at your parents' house isn't really. That's and, and you're 25, even though that's I don't know, it's 2020. The sooner you get out on your own, the better off you're going to be as a man, not just with women, but as a man. So you have to get out. You, you got you got to yeah, get, get out, bro. Get out, man. You got yeah. you to save yeah. some coin, save some coin. You're right out of D.C. D.C. has an excellent ratio of women to uh, men. Yeah, there's hot girls. man. Yeah, there, there's a lot of, you know, feminists that you probably don't want to deal with. But <laughs> D.C. is a great place to be as a single guy, dude. Get out there, live there, get in a, a nice part of the city, start going out. That's how you're going to meet chicks, man, because logistics is critical for you. Because let me tell you something, when you don't live in a nice area of town, girls are going to be more flaky. They're yeah. not. They're going to tell you some BS like, oh, meet me halfway. They're going to say, come to me. And then what's going to happen when you live with your parents? You're going to go to her. You're going to be on her in her frame, basically. Yep. You're going to meet, meet her on her terms. You're not going to be able to properly seduce whatever. You don't have the logistical situation. Dude, half of dating is having logistical advantage and setting up the date. If you don't have a good situation set up, you can't set up dates. So you want to run hotel game. I'll tell you how to do it right now. Um, you get mm. a hotel in an area that's right next to all the bars the, in in, in, uh, uh, in Washington, D.C., which for you right around Hawthorne Street, that's a lot. Of, that's a whole strip of bars right there. You're going to get a hotel mm. for one to two nights. You're going to go and you're going to hit the bar every night and you're going to make sure that you're closer than walking distance to the bar. So you can pull girls back to your place so that if you fail early in the evening, you can go, go right, right back, back out and then try again. That's how you run hotel game. Or you can set up a date with a chick that you've sexually screened that you know is probably going to be DTF. Ah, there you go. And then you meet up with her in downtown and bring her back to your hotel. But you're going to have to do more front work, uh, up front, work up front, FaceTime calls, build comfort, that type of thing. But don't do it too much. Go ahead, Fresh. And then Donald, real quick, this is very important. The worst thing I can go through is meeting a girl up, seducing her, getting to that point. And then you can't close and bring her back to the spot. Yes. Oh, worst yeah. thing ever. Yes. Facts. Yes. So bring her back to your spot. The two operative words Byron just said, your turf. Mm -hmm. It is much harder to seduce a woman if you are at her place, right? Because, dude, you don't know where. I mean, don't get me wrong. I bang girls at their places. But the first time you smash a girl should always be at Facts. your place. Facts. Then you smash at her place. You've already broken the ice with that. Yeah. It Facts. is very, very because you don't know if she has roommates and she's telling you, well, put your shoes here. No, you want to be able to see when you are in your domicile, when you're on your territory, you can start giving instructions. Put your shoes over there. Sit there. Yep. You know, I'm getting I'm getting something to drink. What are you drinking? You can you can act like a man in your place. You can't act like a man at your at at your woman's Big place facts. until you have smashed her. When you smash her, then you can walk into her place like you own her place and your place. So Big yeah. facts, guys, man. This, this so. is so weird. Yo, this is a lot of game right now Yo, for you guys, man. Go this ahead. This is weird because I feel like I'm hearing you and you is like the same. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Funny yeah, as hell, bro. Man. So um so yeah, but Carla, you got a lot of game right there, bro. Man, you better you better send a super chat or son. Oh. Or get the course on Donovan's affiliate code. Rep, rep, you rep, go. Rep Mike is in the chat. Oh, Rep yeah. Mike. All right, let's uh we'll go back to hey Carla, you good? Oh. I think we gave you a lot of free game yeah, right there, yeah, my yeah, friend. A lot of game. That's a lot, a lot, caller. All right, caller. Thank oh, you so much for calling in. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, wait, wait, hold up, caller. Like, you got too much game. Yeah, yeah. Gotta, we, <laughs> it was, it was a lot of tough love, bro. Well, see, I'm that dude that like sits there and talks to him for like 15, 20 minutes. You're like, nah, uh, uh, five yeah. minutes. Uh, you got, nah, you're done. Nah, Yo, man. Uh, no, but caller, thank you so much for calling in, man. Last, uh, last, last question, like, do you let them sleep over? The hotel no! You, oh you my god! No, 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 dude! Oh my god! Listen, 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 listen! I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give He's you about some, to more some more game. I'm I gonna, guess. Let, yeah. I'm gonna give you some more game, dude. Yeah. There are so many reasons why you do not let them that let them sleep over, even if you're in a hotel. Number one, that increases her familiarity with you, right? The more a girl learns about you, the more she is going to be turned off by you. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a minute, Donovan. When girls found out that you drove an Audi and that you lived in a penthouse, didn't that help? You're 25 years old, fam. You don't drive an Audi. You don't live in a penthouse. So if a girl spends the night, you guys are talking. She finds out that you live with mom and dad. What do you think that's going to make her vagina? What, what do you think that's going to wet her up for round two? No. As soon as you bang her, maybe make some conversation. Uh, well, all right. Uh, you got to go. This was fun. Let's do this again and be out. Oh, my God. I can't believe you did that. Get used to it. That's how, that. Listen, you cannot let these girls spend the night. The first, oh, God. So many guys. 
and I don't mean to get off track here, but so many guys say there's this girl and she played me blah, 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 blah. I've heard these stories a hundred times. The first time I banged her, she spent the night at my place or I spent the night at her place. And I'm like, oh my God, no, no, we don't need that. No, you don't need any emotion involved. As soon as you bang her, kick her out. Don't spend the night anywhere. Get her out of there. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to okay. say this. No, I'll, say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. Um, I've let girls sleep over. Uh, so it, for me, it's, it, you know, and there's different, it, this is the beauty of this because you get different opinions, mm -hmm. but I do see Donovan's point mm -hmm. because here's the thing. As you let her stay longer, she's going to start asking questions. Yes. Yeah. Right. And so, so mm -hmm. for you, you have a situation where you probably, you need to, for your situation, you need to kick her out Yes. because yes. you don't have your own spot. Mm -hmm. She's right. going to start asking questions. Yes. Why you got a hotel? You only live a town over, yes. blah, blah, blah. Yes. And you can make lies and whatever. But bro, it ain't worth it. I would say I agree that you probably yeah. want to kick her out in your situation. Yes. When yeah. I this when I lived in Zoom, I used to let girls spend the night all the time. Yeah. Right? They can yeah. ask me all the questions. What kind of car do you drive? Who do you roll with? Why are you at the why at the Sapphire Strip Club all the time? Those are questions I want her to ask because those are gonna want to make her I had one dude, help you DHV. Her it's questions help you DHV. It's dude, high value, bro. Dude, dude, listen, man. I had this one chick, and I actually just started talking to Deb at the time. This chick, this chick was going to she wanted to spend the night at my place because I'd never I'd never let her spend the night at my place, right? The reason why she wanted to spend the night is because she wanted to know what it what it was like to spend the night at a penthouse, like in a Vegas penthouse. And so what she did is she um uh she did she parked in a no parking zone like where I lived and got her car towed. Uh oh, uh, the car got towed. I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, all right, all right. I guess you I guess you can spend the night. This is but again. You can let that happen in my situation. But when I was, dude, when I was living in that dinky little apartment yeah, out in yeah. Henderson yeah, or, or you when I was want... out at Falcon Creek, no, 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 no. Don't let him spend the night. Unless you Especially got a crazy do. setup, don't, don't do it. And right. for you, caller, it would, yeah. man, you're getting too much right now. All right, oh, oh, I'm going to cut you off. I'm going to cut you off, right, you gotta bro? Gotta yeah. All right, we're going to move on. Thank you so much, caller, for coming in. Tough love. Yeah, super chat. Make out a check hundred. Make out a check for eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, okay, Robert Sinanis with the six ninety nine Canadian. Why shouldn't you smash at your parents' house? And he's asking this to Donovan. Is that a serious question? Yeah. yeah. Well, wait. Educate him. Wait, what, wait. What was the question? He Why said, shouldn't you smash at your parents' house? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Why shouldn't you smash at your parents' house? Oh my god. Talk about low value. Oh my god, dude. I, I mean, like, he, he's seventeen. Let me put some context into this. Oh, he's my 17? bad. He's oh. young. Yeah, he's young. Oh. He's seventeen or eighteen. Well, I think. Listen, if you're seventeen or no, he's wait, twenty-one. He's in school. He's in school. He's in college. Yeah. Yeah. College. Oh, okay. All right. Well, if you're in college, why should you smash at your parents' house? I've never, dude, I've never, dude, I, my mom kicked me out when I was 19 years old, man. Yeah. So I don't really, I can't really offer any, why shouldn't you smash at your parents' house? Because, because when you smash at your parents' house, here's the thing. We're guys. We understand. Okay. He's young. He doesn't have a job. Guess what? Girls don't give a shit about yeah. your oh, situation. <laughs> girls never say, well, he's young and he's in school. So I guess I can cut him some slack for living with his parents. Yeah. No, <laughs> this dude who lives with his parents. He's a fucking yeah. loser. Girl, listen, <laughs> girls don't care how you got there. They care that you're there. Yeah. They don't care. Listen, if you're a millionaire, they don't care if you're a, uh, uh, a CEO of a fortune 1000 company. Dealer. Or, or, or they, they don't care if you made your money on Wall Street or you made it selling cocaine out here in Miami Beach. Yeah, they, they don't, don't care. care. They don't care how you made the money. They care that you got the money. So, you, and listen, if, if he's 20, 21 years old, why shouldn't you smash at your parents' house? Because that turns girls off. That's it. Ain't it funny? Young college girls are dating older men now. Yeah, of course they are. And it's like, yo, real talk. Like, I get what you said, because if he does that, it's a turn off. I'm going to go to the guy with the Ferrari or Lamborghini or whatever in the penthouse. Because he's showing high value and not sleeping at his mom's house. So, dude, I God, what listen, God forbid yeah. you're getting fellatio, yeah. right? And your mom walks in. You know what I'm saying? That's why you shouldn't smash it. Do you want do you want your mom to walk in on some girl giving you head? Do you want your mom or dad knocking on the door when you're pounding her out? You what you think she's gonna be turned on after that? Oh no, uh-uh. She's like, dude, I'm out of here. Well, I'm gonna go and smash Donovan. I don't have to worry. Listen, I don't have to worry about his mom walking in because his mom lives on the other side of the country. He's got his own place. That's or, why. Or better yet, Robert, the food's ready. Oh, <laughs> God, dude. And no. moms do that. Robert, come on. Listen, your food is getting cold, son. Do you want me to wash your boxes for you again? You you, you know you've got that asthma, that inhaler. You want your inhaler? Are you guys in there having fun? Oh, no. Forget yeah, about bro, it. Yeah, bro. That's definitely going to be that's gonna be the end of the sex oh, right there. It, and the girl's going to be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> She's gonna, she's gonna be getting out of there. Make sure you, make sure you put your retainer in when you're done. Oh, God, forget about it. Uh, we got another su uh, super sticker from the Truth. Five dollars. Thank you so much. Thank Let's you, see here. We got the truth is again. Facts. That's why I'm trying to move to Winwood. Yes, where you yes. live is very important. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we'll go back 
to the phone no, lines. No, we got uh, Red Pill Mike in here as well. Oh, Red Pill Mike? RPM! Does he have a, does he have a, 50. I, I don't see his. Oh, 50. okay. It won't let me show it up. But uh, Red Pill Mike with the $50 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Red Pill Mike. Um, if you think late count does not matter, then dump your current option, especially if you have not kept your options open. And if you have a low late count, you will be very ripe for the Sharks and will bleed out due to the mm. lack of experience. Big wow. facts, man. I'm going to have to give them a... <laughs> Red Pill Mike is one of the most informed viewers. It is 1,000% sure. There's a reason why I say you need to have at least a 50 late count before you even think about getting into any kind of relationship. And the reason why is because the less less sexy experienced you are, the quicker a girl is going to be able to detect it and then more importantly, start to finesse you and fleece you. Mm. And if you have some kind of resource like money or uh, you have like an endowment that you're going to get or something like that, She's going to know that you're too stupid to realize your own worth. And what do I always say? A woman's ability to lock down a high value guy is almost always contingent on her ability to sell purity. Mm -hmm. And if you're not sexually uh, experienced, you ain't going to be able to detect, oh, this girl actually. She belongs to the streets. And the next thing you know, you're walking down the aisle thinking, oh, man, this is beautiful. I'm about to get married. And then, you know, five years later, you you get handed those divorce papers and you realize it was at this moment. He he knew knew. (laughs) he fucked fucked up. up. You know what I'm saying? So (laughs) most guys like that get in really bad marriages and get divorced and get divorce raped. It's because they were sexually inexperienced and the girl took Mm -hmm. them to the cleaners. And we got Andrew Esquire in the house, too. We're going to talk about marriage, guys, uh, in two weeks. So stay tuned for that. Oh, that'll be good. Guys, I was married. If, if you guys didn't know, oh that. yeah, <laughs> I need to tell that story. Actually. Yeah, we, we will say, we will tell that story on the marriage one actually. And then I found Donovan actually from the single mother episode because I was married to a single mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, wow. so, no one knows that, bro. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy, I man. See, listen, this just goes to show some guys. Yeah. A lot of our detractors think that we just came out of the womb. As we Knowing are, this no, info. we're just born. No, no, no. no. we had to learn, dude. We had things happen to us. This is why we know this stuff. Oh wow, I would never have guessed. Yeah, man. Oh, so, holy. so you gotta get, you gotta get the experience, man. And we're gonna have Andrew on to talk about it with the with the dangers of marriage and everything like that. And and guys, dirty little secret: a lot of women when they marry you, they've already spoken to a divorce attorney just in case before they even get married or walk down the aisle, just to figure out what your assets are, what they could walk away with, and they they protect themselves early on because you guys got to understand women are resource (laughs) professionals when it comes to extracting it from you and more importantly women don't take l's man they they're they're hardwired to always find security so they're going to set themselves up to always win in any situation this is why if you end up winning the divorce or getting the kids she (laughs) hell hath no woman like a woman scorn yes when women take l's there's going to be consequences to you. Your car's going to get messed up. You're going to get attacked. And hey, man, gonna, listen, <laughs> she's going to make sure she takes her pound of flesh one way or, or another. another. It's yep. a listen. It's a mathematical certainty. It's just Big how it facts, is, man. Uh, yeah, we got guys, Seeker it, of Truth. Uh, yeah. Your show content overall has been a, a guiding light, even for older dudes like me. Thank you, awesome, bro. Man. There you go. Cool. That. Um, and then did, did I miss anything fresh? Uh, the OnlyFans one. Um, oh, yes. Yes. One guy asked about OnlyFans. What did he say? Though? He was basically saying, what are your thoughts on OnlyFans and the explosion that it's made with the, the current marketplace? Oh, I, I love it, man. I love it. Is yeah, you know, I don't it mind makes, it either, bro. It, it, listen, it makes it 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 makes uh, it makes guys easier marks. The reason why guys sign up for OnlyFans when even though there is uh, spicy stuff on the Internet for free is because of that personal interaction. Yes, they're replacing that. Per- basically, these guys are it, it, it's a virtual strip club and you're literally just paying the the stripper for for the the champagne room for for the for the lap dance they want the girlfriend experience that's why the explosion and it's funny because girls are finessing guys all the time in real life she's like well now these guys are actually paying me to finesse them yeah who if dude if dude if i'm an eight a nine or a ten of course i'm dude of course i'm gonna get an only fans i'm playing guys left and right anyway wait a minute you mean i don't have to try to get money out of these guys these guys actually pay me to oh shit yeah I'm not trying to school guys anymore. I'm just trying to get this money. Yeah, Donovan. man. You, you, the, the OnlyFans exists because men yeah. allow it to exist. Go ahead. That's it. You know what's funny? The average girl now that has OnlyFans makes between 5 to 25K a month. Yeah. That's more yep. than most guys will ever make in their lives. Yep. And the funny part is that these girls know their worth, and now they don't date bum dudes anymore. Nope. So now it's hard for you to finesse girls because you know what? She's making way more money than you. Yeah. yeah. So for the most right. part, you need to be careful because guess what? You come in her with game. Dude, dude. Yo, there's no way around it. In 2020, quite frankly, you have to be high value you if you want to if you want to get chicks uh, consistently. If you like, because here's the thing, guys think, oh, I get girls and I'm not high value. Okay, bro, are what you level? smashing multiple girls, <laughs> new ones per week? Oh no, you're not. I am. Why? Because 
I'm out I here, you know, get yeah. working on my value, getting it up. And most guys want that kind of sex life. But guess what? Only a small percentage of men can actually get it. And the only way you're going to get it in 2020, well, IG, you got to be high value. Well, man. here's the, well, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Only a small amount of number of guys can get it. That's incorrect. A lot of guys can do it. But the thing is, is most guys don't want to do the work it takes to get it. Mm. Big facts. If you, there listen, you go. if you are, as, listen, let's say you Big are facts. as broke as a joke and you are and you are short and, and you don't make a lot of money, whatever the case may be. What's the one thing you can do to increase your value right away? Get in shape. The guy who, dude, if you're, dude, if you're five, seven and you're in shape and you have good personal hygiene, you will smash hot. Sh this yes. is just how it is. A girl would rather smash a guy who is five, seven, who's ripped and has game than a guy who's six, three and it, six, three. He's fat and has no game. He's trying to, oh, well, here's money and this and that there. <laughs> Listen, she'll go spend time with that guy, but she wants to smash you on the side. So yep. I don't want to hear this looks money. No, it, guys, there are Asian there are Asian pickup artists. JT Tran, 5'6". Yep. He's a 5'6 Asian guy in America. 5'6 Asian American pickup artist. Yep. Right? Big facts. Like, and so many guys will look if, if and, and listen, shout out to my Asian brother. Shout out to my Indian brothers. But guys, Asian and Indian guys, they are on the low, they are the lowest on the sexual totem yeah. pole. But if, and studies show that. Yes, for people thinking that, oh, my, my you're don't talking get out your feelings. feelings. No, it is what it is. It's this facts. Is like Yale it. did a study on this. It is true. Go it ahead. is what it is. And so what this means for my Asian and Indian brothers, you have a little further to go. So your game must be tighter. That's just how it is. So if a five six five seven Asian guy can smash hot American white girls, anybody can. Yep. Yeah. Anybody can. That's that's all there is to it. You got, dude. It, listen, if you've decided to check out of the dating market because you think the juice isn't worth the squeeze, my question to you is, how do you know if it's not worth the squeeze? If you've never had the juice, if you didn't try, right? Mm. Like get out of here. No! I, don't like this, I don't like this wine. Well, have you ever tried it? Well, no. Well, then how the hell do you know you don't like it? Yep. And it's funny because I'll say as well, like. Work on this uh this path for yourself, not for the women, because guess what? Yes. As a byproduct, you're gonna get all the women you want. But at the beginning, right. it needs to be you. Gonna, you know what? As a man, white, black, Asian, whatever it might be, I want to be successful. I want to make things the best the best way I can. And from there stems everything else. Big facts, I agree. man. So, I agree. So we got GK with the two dollar super chat. Only fans make explosion my pants. Ja 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 ja. I mean, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> wrong button. Thank, thank you for that one. Uh, that was a lot of information, but all right. Yeah. You got Eddie Jones with nineteen ninety nine super chat. Thank you so much, Eddie. We'll give you a Don the Marco. Don the Marco. Shout out to Fresh Fit Fam. He's yeah, shout out to Fresh Fit Fam, Good man. Stuff. He's one of our patrons. Uh, yeah. He goes, uh, Donovan is the freaking man. You three are the most influential. Men in my life ah, from the good. manosphere. Wow. I have to share my red pill beginning to one of your DMs. Who shall it be? I'm thinking fresh. Yeah, fresh. Don't worry. You, fresh reads all his DMs, so don't worry. Yeah, I don't read, good. dude. I don't read any. Of my he DMs. doesn't read any. Of them. <laughs> you guys looked at my Instagram. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> he had over 99 plus requests, bro. I'm like, dude, that is this is like a girl's IG. Read it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't ever read my. I, I'm gonna do for you, bro. I'm gonna do for you. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna have to get somebody to do something because I guess I'm missing out. Damn, so uh, we'll go back over to phone lines, guys. We got 600. And 64 live viewers right now. Oh. That is definitely a record. And another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, guys, give us some likes, man. Get us up to what? What do we like likes we got right now? Four hundred seven. Four hundred seven. You know, what? guys, we're not starting. Four fifty. We are going to sit here and stare at the camera awkwardly. Until, until, until we get to 450. Yes. Hit that like. Let's With do it. With this awesome, I'm not, I'm who wants to be a millionaire shit. Shit. In the meantime, stuff to Donovan in the chat. It's right here. Let's go. Let's go. Get these likes up. All right. You guys are getting too much free game. Too much. <laughs> we need some likes. 415, 416. All right. Let's, let's keep going. going. We're going. I'm not, listen, I'm not saying shit until we get to 450. <laughs> this is great. See, this is, I'm going to learn from you guys. Man. This is great. I learned this from Lucario, actually. Oh, that's right. He does do this, doesn't he? Yeah. I think Kevin Samuels does it as well. Yeah. Get that like. Where are we 432, at? 432. 432. 432. Here we go. Keep it up. We're not, dude. We're not. Listen, we're not dropping any more games till we get to 450. Four fifty. Four fifty. Coming. Hold on, come man. Twice. Listen, y'all caught me. Y'all caught me half stepping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the like button myself, oh, man. man. <laughs> I need to practice what I preach right here, right over here. We are at four fifty. There it is. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate. Even you. though we got six hundred fifty people almost in here, but it's okay. We'll take the we'll take the two hundred we'll deficit. Four sixty two. Okay. Oh, still going. Thank you, guys, for getting. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. This is gonna help us get in the algorithm. 
so that Perfect. you guys don't have to watch other crappy content creators from yes. TikTok. So <laughs> let's handle the next caller on the line. Shots but, fired. By the way, guys, we're gonna have this. Uh, we're gonna have this um, show up on uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google. Yes. Uh, by Chris, you think you get it today for the people? Chris is gonna do it today for you guys, just hey, because. Shout out to Chris. Just shout out to Chris, the producer, man. <laughs> uh, so um, anyway, we'll go on to the next caller here. Uh, caller, you're on live on the Fresh Fit Podcast with special guest Donovan Sharp. 302. 302 is the area code. Let's go. Brian. Hey, what up, man? Uh, uh, well, um, I'm, I'm a 50 year old dude. Uh, how do I get started with my life? Uh, I've, I've been watching you for a good while, mm -hmm. but I want to get started to how you work game with women and stuff. So, how I can do it. How old are you? How old are you? There are 15. You're 15? What? When's your birthday? Yeah. Give me your birthday. What year were you born? Oh, 2005, July 6th. Okay. All right. So he's telling the truth. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, they're, they're, they're trying Bro, to you need to go to school yo, Arthur, and, and focus on being a kid. Yo, yeah, Arthur, what you need to do. Yo, listen, talk, listen. Our lawyer's like, yo, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't. Yeah, like, you know, in the back. Like, yeah, don't, don't say nothing. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. At, at the advice of our attorney, we're going to tell you this. You're going to stop being a horn dog, okay? And you're going to go be a kid, go outside, play sports. Yes. Enjoy your childhood. Yes. You got the play rest of your games. life, my friend, to get fleeced by women. So enjoy yes. your youth now when you don't have any real responsibilities, bro. Yes. You know what enjoy I'm saying? Play video games. That's, do you have, that's, do you have any yeah. questions that besides anything no, with womanizing? Uh -uh. Nope. With nah. this, not even no, video games? No, no. No. Because here's the thing. His. his I was going to say about sports or something. No, not okay, womanizing. All right, listen, you know? because his pick up an activity, is, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah pick up really, an activity. Yeah, we got to get him out of there. All right. Well, well Chris is uh, away, so we can't answer the next phone call. Yeah. Uh, come on, okay, Chris. Chris is back. A dump. Pinch it off, Chris. I call you. you okay. Get, get, All right, call. Yeah, we get you out of here. Yeah, you go. Be, be a kid, damn it. Yes. Play cool. video games. Hit yeah. the gym. All right, man. Eight three two. We got Houston Thank in the you. house. Okay, eight three two. First Hello. of all, are you over the age of eighteen? <laughs> Yes, I'm over there. All okay, right. Okay, right. okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. My team. <laughs> How do I get girls, says the 15-year-old? Yeah. Man. Mm -mm. No, that's no, no comment. No comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Okay, so uh, first of all, how y'all doing? Y'all good today? Good. Good job, man. Good. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. I'm in college right now, and, uh, you know, I'm dealing with these chicks right now. I'm And this one uh, got my interest because, like, Usually, I know that women, when women throw out the virgin excuse, like, oh, I'm a virgin, I don't do that. Oh, I don't honestly <laughs> believe them. Here we go. But, like, I, I don't have enough game yet, and I'll be honest, I'm the game to really, like, maneuver my way through it. I hear the story. Let me stop you right there. I know they're capping. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me stop you right there. So, if if you're vibing with a girl and she says, oh, I'm a virgin, you know what you say? Oh, my God, me too. Let's, let's, <laughs> you know what? Let's lose our virginity to each other on our wedding night. She's going to laugh her ass off. Mm -hmm. Dude. I, and how old is this girl who claims she's a virgin? Uh, it doesn't like it. matter. There are no <laughs> virginal women, my friend. I, listen, dude, girls are losing their, virgi their virginities very, very early. You're in college. If she's in college, she... Dude, she's she can't be a virgin. The universe simply will not allow it. So if she's telling you that she's a virgin. You know she's lying. You tell her, "Oh, you're a virgin." Oh, so am I. Are you saving yourself for marriage? I am too. How hard does how how hard does it get? And be dude, is be as serious as a heart attack. She's gonna crack a smile and it's gonna be on from there, man. Boom. <laughs> okay, so agree agree and amplify, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah I mean, you could do if that, you wanna, or, or you, you wanna, could just ignore yeah. it. I'm a virgin. Nice. All right. Cool. There yeah, you go. man. You just got to understand that okay. chicks are always going to try to, you know, I mean, be like, oh, I'm, I'm sugar and spice and everything nice. Because like I told you, they're always going to be like, uh, yeah, yeah, like that. and it's like, you just got to know, you know that they're on some BS. Oh, my bad. You just got to know that they're on some BS, man, quite frankly. So yeah. you, the, when a girl tells you she's a virgin, bro, and, and she's over like the age of 18 or she's went to college or something like that. No, man. No, <laughs> Hell she's no. lying. No. She's lying. She, you know what? Okay. As a matter of fact, her telling you that she's a virgin is more. Uh, that shows me more about your game than yes. anything else. This yeah. means she doesn't want to bang you. Yeah. That's what yeah. that is. Literally. If a girl tells you, "I'm a virgin," no, uh, uh, she does not want to bang you. And granted, you admitted it earlier. Hey, my game is is kind of weak. Well, dude, and that's, now we have the proof. Uh, there you it's go. Because I always say the way a woman treats you a lot of the time mm -hmm. is a reflection of where you are as a man with your development right. with women. Right. So if she knows she could pull a fast one on you, she's gonna tell you, "Oh, I'm a virgin." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
You, you so, think she would tell Drake I'm a virgin? Yeah, you think she would tell Drake? No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. What was her, he had another, I think he had uh, uh, another question. Go ahead, caller. Yeah. You got another one? Who, oh, oh, me? Yeah, yeah, you have another you. question? Yeah, man, you're the only caller, I think. No, really, that's it. It's just, you know, I, I knew, I know that she was like, okay. capping about the virginity thing, and I know that. Mm -hmm. Frankly, I was trying to see if I can maneuver my way out through it, and like, you know, it's already too late. Is, it's already listen. It's already too late. If she <laughs> told you she was a virgin, and you and you indicated that you believed her, or that you showed an ineptitude on overcoming that, it's over. It's a wrap. So you're gonna have to move on to another no, target. No, what, uh, no, what I said to her was like, oh, I did say, oh, me too, and she's like, you're lying. And we started laughing. Call her. Stop. I don't know stop. Right call her. Call her. Call her. Stop. But, That's not what you said. Now you're lying. Now you're going to tell me what you really said. Because if you really did say that and she really did laugh, you wouldn't be calling us right now asking us how to overcome the virginity question because you because you just overcame it. So tell us what really ha what, what are the kids saying? Don't cap. Don't cap. <laughs> yeah, don't cap. <laughs> stop uh, I sound old, right? Don't cap. You need to tell me what really happened. <laughs> Yeah, he knows it too, bro. The lie detector yeah, determined yeah. that was a lie. Uh, listen, All right, call listen, listen, call it, listen, call it, listen, I get it. You're a young guy. You're not supposed to have game, right? You're not supposed to be good with women. Like your nuts have barely dropped. So, like, if you stumble and fall, dude, I've made the most, I've made the most ridiculous errors, boneheaded errors with women in my 30s. So, if a girl hits you with the "I'm a virgin" thing, and you're a college guy, and you somehow bought it. That's not a slight on you. That's just how it is, man. Like you're going to take L's, but in the future, that's really the way that that's really the way you need to handle this. All right, caller, we're going to okay. move on. Okay, I appreciate it. Because we yeah. got a bunch of All we right. got a bunch of calls. We're going to hit a Zoom yes. call after this, guys. Uh, we I know we started a little bit late, but uh, we'll and do. Stop a, capping. Yeah, stop capping, guys. <laughs> uh, we got we got. I did I missed the super chat. Shout out to uh, Miami J in the house. He says I stand by my Opera House recommendation, Miami J. <laughs> he texted me. Oh, he actually texted me right after I put him on blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, let's see here. I think we had a couple more. Okay, yeah. freelance Ronan. Hey, so yeah, loyal he Donovan supporter right here. Yes. Don't yes, believe the really. hype. That's None good. of them. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, don't believe the hype. None of them are virgins or celibate. All of them are out here throwing the funk box. Thank you so much. Yes, really Lancey <laughs> knows. Red Pill Mike again with the $5 super chat. If you actually manage to date or even marry a virgin, just know when that relationship ends, you will learn nothing from that specific experience. Damn. Big facts. That's big, true. big facts, man. Uh, Daniel Brown with the $5 super sticker. Thank you so much. King Light, this is a good question. Uh, DS, Myron, and Fresh, that's what's up. Should men say to themselves, what should men say to themselves every time they wake up? And it's so hard reading super chats, dude, because like it's misspelled or whatever. Yeah. You're trying to help them out. I think what he means so, is what should men say to themselves every time they wake up in the morning? Yes. That's what he means. Yeah. So what should men say to themselves every day? They wake up well, in the you, morning. I guess That's he wants like a like motivational, motivational thing. thing. So I would just say uh, if you wake up every morning, be thankful you're awake for, for the first part. And they say, you know what? How can I conquer my my day to day? What do yeah. I need to do to level up to the next level? What 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 people have to understand um people in general and then men specifically is that you were born and again shout out to steve the dean man he talks about this all the time if you were born you were already a winner you beat out billions of other sperm you fought them off you kicked them in the teeth you managed to be the one to impregn to impregnate the egg then you got carried to term so you're always you're already a winner then if you manage to kick off like 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 you're that uh, protozoan you, like you see you see those two x chromosomes you managed to kick off one of the legs of those x's and turn it into a y and now you're a man right so when you wake up every day you think dude thank god i'm a man i can't imagine i can't imagine being a woman today man dude yeah that's, i can't imagine like it dude oh my god because I'm, women are just just women are just miserable they're they're, they're miserable women are women wake up miserable women and this is why women have so many more inspirational sayings around their bedrooms <laughs> and, and on their phones and posters and love yourself today and be a winner today because they're fucking miserable guys we don't have that stuff because we're men that's yeah. enough well the world's the world's already cold to us from the beginning mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like that you don't get this validation and everything else and I, I, this is what i tell you know i'm gonna show my age here a little bit but i guess i'll say it um you know if you want to say something to yourself when you wake up in the morning just look at the mirror and say i'm the fucking man right. <laughs> remember the my new haircut that was an old video back in like oh six oh seven i remember that back yeah in the you gotta day. look in the mirror and be like hey listen ain't no motherfucker as bad as i am exactly. and you gotta believe that shit man you really do and guys life is precious because guess what some people didn't even make, make it to the egg. You know what I'm right? Saying? That's what I'm saying, like, man. You're, you're here right now for a reason. Like, either make, make it happen 
or well, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> Listen, man, I was getting I was getting into fights with I was getting in fights with other sperm, man. Like that's how far my that's how far <laughs> that's how deep my yeah, fight roots go. Get up out of here, man. I'm trying uh, to fertilize this egg. The uh, do man do man if Woodson five dollars super chat just turned thirty and found you guys a few days ago. Hey, better late than never, right? Uh, how do I get access to woman knees? Uh, when does the course drop down? Yeah, the course drops a week from Friday. Boom, a there week you from go. Friday. It's it's uh, it drops on November twenty seventh. Uh, it's going to be Black Friday. Okay. Uh, it's going to be Black Friday, and uh, it is, dude. It is going to be next week. I'm gonna next week. I'm gonna be in Vegas. I'm gonna start dropping previews. I'm gonna give you yeah. guys. You guys saw we a saw, little we taste. Saw some yeah. of the previews. You guys saw a little taste of uh, of uh, Woman, Womanies Volume Three. Yeah, it's gonna be available uh, next Friday. If you are a ten dollar, if you are a, if you are at least a ten dollar patron, pardon me, you will get a ten percent discount. Boom. Mm. There you so go. So become a ten dollar patron. Donovan Char- uh, Patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp. When the course drops, you get ten percent off. And also, oh. as well, his channel is in the chat right now. So just go hit, click that channel, subscribe to him, and you'll find all the information. Appreciate there. it. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. We got Sam uh, Prochansky with the 499 Super Chat. Pay for Myron's advice. He helped me keep frame, but had to drop the nine. She's still in my DMs, though. Nines and tens are flaky, and that's facts. Thank you so much, Sam, for the for the uh, plug right there, man. And I did not pay him <laughs> to pay me to advertise my coaching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, some of some guys from, you know, from the BP community. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, you no, no, He's a scammers. You know, you know, I, I fucking paid him. Okay, I, I, you, you got me. Yeah. Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, we got a bunch of callers on the line. We will knock out these callers, then we're going to end the show, guys, because we still got a Zoom call we got to do. For all the people that bought the DMs on demand last night as uh, we advertised, uh, okay, we'll do this quick because we want to give you guys this value. Uh, Chris, who's up? Uh, we got 561. 561. We got South Florida in the house. Let's go. Oh, thank you guys. For having Caller, me. please make it quick. All colors on the line. Make it fast, right. guys. Go ahead. What's my your question? question? My question is real quick. So, when I approach girls and I'm talking to them and, like, they capping, like, I, I, for some reason, like, want to say, like, you're lying. Like, I, I don't want to buy into their game. And they always... Give us an example. How do I get around it? Give us an example. Like, like, like I walk up to a girl and she tells me she got a board. And I know she don't got a board. Or he's, he telling me, hey, stop right there. Hey, stop right there. Me hold on, hold on, hold on. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. You know, I, listen, hold on, call her. I got a boyfriend. He's not invited. What's the next one? Boy, I overcame that shit just, test so oh, fast. Yeah. He didn't know yeah. what to say. Like that. When I, I think I'll be taking it too serious. <laughs> And and it fucks up my game. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he, so he actually reacts to what the girls say. Yeah, he gets it. All right, call her. Call her. It's very simple, bro. Like, if a girl tells you off rip, oh, I have a boyfriend, that means she doesn't like you. Like, yeah, straight up. See, right. Here's yeah. the thing. And, and you have to understand, caller, and I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can. There, You have to understand the difference between a shit test and a rejection. Yeah, if you approach facts. a girl and three seconds in, she tells you I have a boyfriend, that's a rejection. If you're kicking it with her for 15 minutes, you go for the number close. She says I have a boyfriend. That is a shit test. Yep. yep. That is a shit test. So yep. if she tells you she has a boyfriend right out the gate, she's not interested. She probably does, or she doesn't want you. Just leave, keep it moving, and go to another target. And, yeah. and understand, dude, that you're gonna get rejected. This again, this is why we said at the top of the show, mm-hmm. you're if you close 10% of the girls you talk to, you're a god. You're not gonna close 10%, bro. Girls are gonna lie to you all the time and yep. say some BS. So move on to the next girl. Half of game is discerning chicks that are time wasters and moving on to a girl that isn't. Got it? <laughs> Respect. I appreciate it. All right, All right man. Later. All right, bro. Uh, who's up next? All right, we got 613. Uh, hey, Mike. Uh, hey, Mike. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we got yep. you. <clears throat> okay, okay. Um, I actually have two questions. I'm going to make it quick. Um, it, um, I'm a 21 year old guy and I fucked this 32 year old MILF off Tinder and I, I fuck girls sometimes. What's but the like, question? I was sweating. Dur- I was, I was sweating during sex. So, so okay. is that, is that like a, is that, is that like a normal thing? No, 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 like listen, 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 you sweating, minutes. listen, hold on caller. You sweating during sex doesn't matter. It literally does not matter. What's question number two? Are you trolling? Yeah, that, well, yeah, I'm, I'm like trying to figure no, this out. No, hold on. Well, listen, let's let's listen <laughs> no, what the second question is. Because, like, dude, I, there there are times where I sweat during sex. It's when the sex is hot <laughs> and sweaty. Yeah. What's your next question? Okay, second question. Um, are we ever gonna live in a world where the average guy is RP aware? No, no. Because like, I feel no, 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 no. Drop him. Next nope. caller. 
Yeah, that's never going to happen, bro. Yeah, yeah. Are we ever going to live in a world where every guy? Is I always say, it like of the economy. Not. The economy relies on sense, yes. man. Dude, guys man. like us. Listen, yeah. If every, if every dude, if half American men were at least red pill aware, mm-hmm. as my girlfriend is trying to FaceTime me, what the fuck are we? What the fuck are you doing, <laughs> Deb? I'm doing a fucking podcast. What are we doing? Jesus Christ! <laughs> like you said. <laughs> Dude, dude, listen, I love this chick, but she fucking drives me fucking crazy. What are you? God almighty. I'm on the air and, she, and, and the bitch is trying to FaceTime me. <laughs> fucking hell, dude. Um, yes, the the economy is really <laughs> on the beta male. If dude, if let's just say every American man were red pill aware, not even live in the red pill life of five percenter. If they're red pill aware, guess what, guys? The economy collapses. Yeah. That's it. That's Facts. a wrap. We're it's done. over. Yeah, it's K over. Jewelers out of business, restaurants out of business, movie theaters That's out of it. business. It's over. It's done. You know it's what I'm done. saying? Uh, so yeah, that, that, there's your Vacations answer. Vacations are gone. Big yeah. facts. Uh, next one. Next one. Six one eight in the house. I'm sorry, 718. Oh, seven one eight, New York City. Seven one eight. You there? Yo, what's going on? You hear me? Yo, what up, man? Yo, what's up, brother? Hey, I just want to know um some tips on. Um, business and lifestyles. Like, how do we elevate our businesses? Like, I don't know what businesses you guys are in. Obviously, the dating part and the fitness and stuff like that. But how do you take it to the next level? Because that's one of the things I've been struggling with for years. Women is like, I, I've been with a few um, here and there, but it's like I really want to enhance my lifestyle on mm-hmm. business. Mm-hmm. Do, you cool. have, do you guys have business courses or anything like that? No. Um... But I will, and this is this is actually a very good question. Mm-hmm. Um, the only advice that I can give you, the only advice I can give you, is is you have to you have to reinvest in your business. Yeah. The 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 only way at that I mean, listen, I'm sure that there are courses and strategies, but the reason why I do I do a lot better now than when I used to is because I reinvest in my business. Um, I obviously upgraded my studio. I built a second studio. I, I upgraded the production on woman ease. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to do, I'm going to use the, the money that I make from woman ease volume three, probably about 80% of it is all going to be financing the, the event in Vegas. So th- well, that's the best advice I can give you is just reinvest you in your business. And I call her for me, it's going to be marketing. So for there example, uh, no matter how good you are at a task, so you're a good doctor, a good lawyer, you're a good um, carpenter. If no one knows who you are, it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? You're uh, out in the middle of nowhere with, 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 with good work, but no one knows where to come to or where to go to. So for the most part, if you've got a business yourself, market yourself using ads, you know what I'm saying? Get your name on there, referrals. That way, when you have, whenever you want business, it comes in to you naturally and it flows in that sense. So. Yeah, man. That's great so advice. What would be a good ad? Facebook or Instagram? I would use everything, That's the bro. only two I really know. For example, use everything. A, good, a good example is Grant Cardone. This guy was on every platform. Ty Lopez. You... For the most part, you want to be everywhere. At all times, you want to be omnipresent whenever it comes to marketing and business. Right, Casey? Yep. There you go. There you go. Bam. So, um, all right. We'll move on to the next caller. Uh, 979. 979 in the house. 979. You're on the air. Going once, going twice. <laughs> she gone. Yeah, she gone. All right. Next one. Next one. Uh, 404. 404. Caller, are you there? Yo, uh, hello. Hey, what up? I already know hello? who this is. E man. Yeah, what up, man? <laughs> is this Efo? No, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't Efo? have a question. No. Oh, that's no, not Efo. I, I don't have a question. I just want to say, man, I yeah. appreciate you guys, Donovan. You were the one that actually introduced me to a uh, minor games. I actually watched a live stream before. Wow. And my games were like in there, and then, and yeah, and uh, it might be like come on, because because I thought that like you're like 21 and like 22, and like you seem young and shit, and that's why I went to your channel, but. That's what, but that's what I want to say, bitch. I mean, it was because of Dharma Sharp that that I know about you guys. So, like, I don't give like a shout out to him, you know. But Thank you for the support, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. He's one of our patrons. Oh, okay, cool. Shout out to Iman, man. Uh, we got James Young with the super five dollars super chat. RP men will <laughs> will kill the economy. The government will do everything to stop that. I mean, yeah, bro. I mean, <laughs> it, it got. It, <sighs> The, the government relies on men being stupid of their own worth yes. to spend it on, on women. Because when guys keep their own money, what do they do? They invest it. Yes, they, right. they save it. They don't do... They don't spend it on a bitch. You know, or they spend it on themselves in like industries that don't necessarily... you know, the, the, the money that women spend, a lot of the time, keeps the economy going. I'm not going to lie. It yeah, does. Dude, it the does. Women are 80% of the does, consumer dude. base. You yep. know, they keep the makeup industry up. They keep the retail comp- industry up. They're like... They spend 80, 90% of uh, family spending 
is dictated by the the, the mother 90 percent of the yep, time that's right yeah and the 80 percent of the consumer base is female so if men were to stop spending money and let's keep it real that 80 percent of female consumerism that comes from male money yep. you know what i'm saying so if guys weren't to spend money on women, dude, the, the economy would, would collapse. This is why this type of content is, is, is uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, it's censored. And guys, if you're in Go here ahead. learning and applying what we teach you and the RP awareness, literally you're ahead, you're ahead of most, fem- most oh, men in dude. society. It, dude, I'm telling yeah. you what, man. Like when a guy calls in, hey, Donovan, I'm 18 years old. And I'm, I'm like, jealous. dude, you've hit. Right. I'm jealous, bro. You hit the lottery. I don't care how stupid your question is. You're yeah. calling my show and you're 18 years old. Shh. Good yeah, for man. You, man. So, you know, it, the, the thing is, guys, we're not saying don't spend money on women, but you have to make her earn it before you spend yes. it. A lot of guys will sit there and give these chicks $5,000 to show up on a Dude. date, man. It's oh, ridiculous. Dad. So, uh, uh, Christopher York with the $5 Super Chat. I, bre- I appreciate you, y'all's. I appreciate it. All right. Any more, anyone else on the, on the line? Yeah, we have uh, 619. All right. 619. Oh, San Diego. We're going to do 619, and then we're going to cut the phone lines because yeah. it's already, we've been on for an hour 45. Yeah. So, uh, They were waiting. Okay. All, All right. right. We got All 619 right. and 916 because they've been waiting. All right. All right. Go ahead, 619. Very Mysterio in the house. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's uh, up, man? Yeah. Uh, Redfield Cop, Donovan, probably has heard me a couple times. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, so uh, just wanted to touch on a few things that you said. Make women earn it. Uh, for example, it is important that we don't reward just any old chicks with like dinners and stuff like that. I've got the streamlined process. It's always copy first, and then they got to earn uh, that dinner or right. you know a subsequent day. And I found that actually weeds out a lot of these shady characters. Yep. Um, yeah. You know yeah. the time wasters. And, and for example, last week I had uh, that exactly. She offered dinner at first for a meetup, and I was like, "No, that's too costly." Yep. Uh, and I got to yep. see if I like you. And then all of a sudden, she started giving me problems. You know what I did? I just yeah. next her. There I you go. <laughs> cut her off. Stop communicating. And Anytime on. a chick uh, like suggests yeah, dinner for the first date, it's it's a problem. It's it's a big problem. You right. Know what I mean, like you just right. tell her, okay, well if you're and, paying, uh, I'll show up. You know. Listen, Devin told me, hey, you want to go to Hawaii? Yeah. You know what I said to her? If you're paying, I'm playing. <laughs> Bam. Right. And she ended yep. up paying, exactly. and I played. So there, there you go. go. Bam. Yeah. And look, the final thing is, um, I see too many dudes that are afraid to reject women, uh, yep. especially women that they're attracted to. It's not the end of the world. They, you got to stop thinking of women as this rare, precious earth material. There, there's lots of them. I've been all over the states. You know, California, lots of hot women around. Just yeah, there are reject the ones that waste your time. Do not try to impress them. And uh, shout out to Donovan, man. You, I was in a bad spot earlier this year, and him and Kevin Samuels really helped me get through a, a tough spot. Good. Um, Good. So, Donovan, thank you very much. Yeah, hey, uh, listen, man, calling uh, in, man. Absolutely. And real quick, uh, he, he makes a very good point. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more game. This is how you do the first date or first meetup. You meet up for coffee or for drinks. You yep. do not sit down. You don't sit down. You don't go to Applebee's and, and order drinks. No, you meet up for drinks at a bar, a stand up bar. You don't get comfortable because this is not going to be this is not going to be a 45 minute chat. This is going to be a 20 minute. I'm going to feel you out to find out whether or not you're trying to take advantage of me. If you're an eight shit type of bitch, like I'm trying to feel you out. Okay. Listen, spend four or five bucks on a cup of coffee, buy her a drink, maybe two. If she earns that second drink, if you know, she ain't shit and the date, right? What you do to continue that. Okay. If she's worth something, you say to her, you know, you seem pretty cool. Hey, listen, I was actually going to go to such and such restaurant for uh, some appetizers. There you go. Yeah. Come with me. Right. Do you see what that does? You're going to a restaurant for appetizers. You're not going there for a full meal, right? Mm-hmm. And I've had and girls say this all the time. Oh, why just appetizers? Well, if I like you enough, you know, we might do dinner. And they do, they just laugh their asses off, but they know, oh, okay, I gotta, I got I gotta earn, I gotta earn, I have to earn this guy's attention and resources. And if they want to earn it, they stick around. If they don't, they bounce. Either way, you're not wasting time. Take her to get drinks or coffee, feel her out. If you think she's cool, say, hey, I'm going to get appetizers at such and such restaurant. I have I have reservations to get appetizers at such and such restaurant. You seem pretty cool. Come with me. You seem pretty cool means just like you said, yeah. you have qual- you, you have now qualified yourself to me to the point where I can share appetizers with you on plans I already made right. with or without you. Right. You're letting her know you already have plans. You seem cool implies to her that. 
her coming to you is never a foregone conclusion. Guys, that is a, listen, this is a powerful, powerful message. I, I'm having appetizers at XYZ restaurant. I made, I made reservations at XYZ restaurant to get appetizers. You seem cool. Come with me. I'll That's take, how you do it. I'll take it a step further. Yeah. So I like doing dinner date, yeah. right, Donovan? Like off the first date. But wow. before I do that, I qualify them on FaceTime uh, first. Ooh. So I literally talk to her on FaceTime. Guess I know a little bit better. You know what? You, you seem cool. Let's grab dinner. Not because I think she deserves dinner. because I like dinner. So I don't sure. like drinks. I don't like coffee. So you know what? I, I want to have food. You can join me because I'm going yeah. to go for right. food anyway. Right, right, right. Like what right, you said. right. So yeah, I'm on my right. Exactly. I'm on, on my, my way, whatever the case may be. It's on my yeah. terms. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, like basically, as you guys can see, even though there's different methods, the underlying fact is the same. Yeah. You cannot, you got to basically let her know off rip, she can't take advantage of you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's the biggest thing. The what, how you decide to do it is one thing, but the biggest thing is she's got to understand she can't take advantage. So thank you so much, Carla, for calling in and giving us that that uh that side piece on. Oh, that. By the way, Dev is on her way over here. So if you want to nice. send Andrew down, okay, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. we'll do. She's, she's blonde. She's not she has big boobs. Hey, thank you guys. Okay. You see her. She was right. not playing on it. <laughs> yeah, she was. No, yeah, like, dude, she was. I mean, she I texted saw. me. She's like, I'm sorry, you know, you know, my parents are gone, and you know, I wanted to, I wanted to come out. We'll end the show, and I'll go down and get her. Okay, let's go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. All right, so we got one more call, and then. Uh, and then we're going to do the Zoom call right after and all everything else like that. So, yes. Go ahead. Okay, we got uh, 916. 916 in the house. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? So, in eighth grade, so I had like a glow up. Like, so I was getting a lot and then I had a glow up. And then <laughs> so I'm like hyperventilating because I've been waiting oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. a long time. But like, I, I, I don't like, so basically in eighth grade, um, I had a major glow, but then I got a lot of girls chasing me, like a lot. Yo, caller, how old are you, bro? How old are you? Sixty tall. How old are you? Fifteen. Yeah, yo, 15. bro. No, 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 no. This is what can't. you're gonna do. Listen, we would Dude. love, we would love you're to. You're gonna do. be no, no, a hold kid. On. Listen, no, 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 but this this advice is predicated on becoming better with women. Mm -hmm. And as a 15 year old, you are going. We can't do it. We yeah. listen. We would love to. We can't do it. There are <laughs> legal ramifications. Can't do Our it. Our attorney saying hell no. <laughs> says, Get him off the line. Listen, we yeah. feel for you. But dude, like it is what it is. Yeah. Call it. I call it. Sorry. No. Uh, is there anyone else since that guy didn't know? All, All right. right. All right. Cool. Guys. Get the DMs on demand course. Click the yes. link below. Support us. Support Donovan. Donovan. Yeah. Uh, it's a special price right now, $397. Black Friday goes up to $497. $497. Then after Cyber Monday, $797, $797, guys. So we'll have a, a, a quick Zoom call right after this. Thank you guys for tuning in with the Fresh Fit Podcast. And don't forget to get on Spotify, Apple, Apple Podcasts. Um, um, what else? Uh, Google. Google. We're on every single guys. We're on every single platform. Uh, yeah, every single um podcast platform. And the, the uh, podcast with Q Banks went viral. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly, man. Yeah. So we're this one's gonna be up today. Yeah, with Donovan Sharp. So guys, get if you don't want to watch us on YouTube, whatever it may be, you want to listen in your car and your truck. You're driving your truck. Yeah, go ahead. Get on the podcast, man. And we're on every platform. Just search Fresh and Fit, and you'll find us. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you guys. When's the next show? Uh, next Monday, Monday with, with Mr. Lucario, Lucario. and uh, Miles Cunningham. Yeah. Oh, we'll be yeah, here. they're going to be in the studio. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, man. it's going to be lit, man. You guys are doing all right. Yeah. So, <laughs> good. Good stuff. guys, thank you for tuning in. Right. Yeah. Get the course. Woman uh drops. Volume three. It drops in two Fridays, right? Uh, no, the, the 27th. It drops a week from this Friday. Boom. Oh, a week from this so, Friday. Yeah. Get Woman Ease. Get Salt. Get our course DMs on demand. Click the link below. Support Donovan. Support us. Thank you guys for tuning in. This was a lit stream, yes, man. Crazy. Thank you, Don, for, for coming, man. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Peace, guys.